two. Fantastic. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to yet another Dungeons & Dragons session with me, your boy, Nate. We've got Jenny, Space Pants, today. Hello, Jenny. Hi, everybody. We have Sir Stu as Zabajack. Say hi, Stu. Hey, everybody. And as always, our ever-fantastic DM, Josh. Take it away, my dude. Hi, everyone. Uh, good morning. Welcome back to our adventures in Stormreach. Uh, as always, I want to briefly introduce our uh, campaign setting. We're playing in the world of Eberron, which is full of magical technology and pulp adventure. Uh, our adventurers are learning to... Our, our heroes are learning to be adventurers in the forbidden continent of Zendrick. Uh, as for our game system, we are running Shadow Dark RPG with the tagline, Old School Gaming, New School Mechanics. Uh, I really like it because it keeps uh, the focus of it, which on what I find important, which is the action and the storytelling. Uh, and, you know, people call it a rules light system, but honestly, there's plenty of complexity there. I don't feel it's a mini RPG by any uh, means. It is everything we need to do what we want. Uh, let's get back with our scenario. So, uh, so let's take a second to get everyone's map back on the right part of the map, which is going to be somewhat on the bottom left side, uh, where you're in the bottom of the cistern. Now, bottom left. Oh, yep. yeah, yeah, bottom left. Uh, when we last left off, our heroes had decided to dive deeper into the spore-infected uh, sewers uh, in order to find the origination of the spore infestation. And what did they find but a, uh, but a hive of fungal monstrosities? They killed with fire a giant fungus creature, and they have been given hints that there is more danger afoot, that the Rashimi giant uh, druid by the name of Freya Blackwood is also deeper in these uh, caverns, and supposedly she is responsible for these noxious fungal fumes. Uh, do we have anything that y'all need to be reminded of before we start our um, setting up our game procedure? Mm, I don't uh, think so. I'm good. What was the what uh, was the big fungal creature's name again? Sorry. Uh, that was Lily. 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 I was thinking Lilith, and I was like, it's not quite right. Lilith. Lily. That's, it. That's, it. That's my um, niece's name. And would all I'm really glad you picked that one. <laughs> <laughs> but all three of you briefly introduce your characters that you're playing right quick. Do we need to introduce all of our characters or just the ones we're playing today? Just the ones on the table right now. I thought so. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll go first, I suppose. Um, yeah. We have first Sir Schnurf, or Wergnerf of Schnurn. Yes, that's a mouthful. Um, he is a fighter. Wait, is that right? Is he still a fighter? Yes. Uh a uh, warrior, war hero, human who has quite the personality. Um, he thinks himself uh, the best of the best, and he will let you know so. Um, he is not, in fact, the best of the best. Um, is that even the best okay, of the best? No, he's really not. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Sir Schnurf. And then we have Helga. Helga, the orc, uh, sailor, pirate, viking, what have you. Um, she is a barbarian, and she fights with dual axes, and uh, she is a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. And she's pretty fun. Good times, good times. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you. Uh, I guess I'll uh, go next. Um, so we've got Mithra Borwas. He is a gnome bloodseeker priest. He doesn't like people, even though he is a priest, and he has to kind of touch them all the time, but he really likes their blood. <laughs> almost sickeningly. And uh, Mr. Taryn here is, um, he's a fantastic human with a, uh, he's, he's been raised on the streets. He's a thief. Very cunning. Very smart. Not always the smartest, but you know, he likes to uh, steal from people, which is his favorite pastime hobby. And he likes to fuck with Sir Schnurf. 
Yes. Pretty much him to a T. <sighs> uh, very good. Stu? All right. Uh, so the first character I'm playing is is Maeve. Uh, she is an elf fighter. Um, who specializes in more distance fighting, longbow tactics, that sort of thing. Um, she's a mercenary who was recently hired uh, to partake um, on a pretty average mission, but from a really shady sort of character. Uh, didn't really like how it turned out, and um, ended up almost causing a whole lot of damage um, in the process, but uh, her good friend Gwen stopped her, and that's what I'm going to introduce next, who is a uh, halfling soul knife. Um, she is sort of uh, the one to kind of temper Maeve's more, uh, how do I put it, um, oh. sort of chaotic tendencies. Um she is, uh, uh, her background is a spy, um, and uh, she has been sort of wandering the, the dark underbelly of the streets for quite a long time, uh, using her psionic uh, skills to keep her alive. Um, and she kind of found herself uh, all sort of tied up in this mess that she didn't want to be in. Um, and now she is somewhere in a dungeon and not too happy about it. Great. Thank you all. Now, uh, to the audience, if you, uh, you may notice that there is a, uh, seat missing at the table. If you want to join up with us, you should give us a message. If you know us personally, that should, uh, make sense, but we would also love for audience and viewers to express interest um in that and we'd love to have you on uh and one it, of us one of us and if you are interested in hiring me as your dungeon master you should know that that's an option too you should find a link to my services in the description and the doobly do at the bottom all right now without further ado Yay. um uh, I would like for all of us to uh, first roll initiative. Uh, you click on your character token, then on your character sheet you roll initiative. Next to your name. Yep. Right? That's right. Helga. Dang it. I thought that 15 was me. It was not. Aww. Oh, man. Taryn, no. Yeah, Maybe right. winter killing it again. Yep. Uh, and, and that's appropriate. Now, uh, we also have a, uh, the Almost tiniest a bit... We also have the tiniest bit of procedure that we need to deal with as well. This torch uh, is... Uh, wait, I presume that we are empty on the torch timer, is that right? I believe so from last time, but I can always kick it off whenever we sort that out. That's right. I need one of y'all to, sacri uh, to sacrifice a torch from your inventory and choose a person to hold the torch. Let's see what we got. Um, I don't know if Helga guess. has two, and Sir Schnurf has. Sounds like Helga. Also two. Wow. So you've yeah, been holding out on us. One. Wow. I'm sorry. You've been holding wow. out on us. Wow. I'm okay. sorry. Uh, Helga will give one, and uh, but she will. Make Sir Schnurf hold it because she likes her axes. Now, Sir Schnurf is holding a great sword. How we okay, solve this problem? <laughs> How we solve this problem last time? Borwas oh, Bor Bor will hold the torch. All right, very good. He's our support uh, boy. And I'll go ahead and reorganize everyone so that they are all over here. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, and uh, and you know, I've uh, been listening to some folks talking about dungeon procedure and. Uh, and so I have a new way I want to approach this. I'm going to give this a shot. Is that I would like to, at the top of the round, give a brief recap of what's happened, and then ask y'all, generally, what you will want to do this round. I think we'll then resolve that by initiative order, but it's going to help us all uh, 
demonstrate that we are making our choices at the same time. And if there is a easy way to group resolve something, like, say, if you all are trying to move across the this uh, fetid sewer water to the island in the center, and then uh, to the other side of the cistern from there, we could resolve that really quickly. What do okay. you think? Yes. Makes sense. Logically, I like, I like it. that idea. Great. So... Uh, so top of the round, uh, what are you guys wanting to do generally? And again, you can say things like move, melee, ranged attack, or cast a spell, or etc. Um, uh, I have a quick question before we con continue. Yeah. Just a roll 20 question. What are these three numbers above our characters' heads? The red, the green, and the blue? Uh, so the red, the green, and the blue? So, on so... Uh, red is your hit points, green is supposed to be a timer, and the blue is your armor class. Okay, uh... But I don't know what Helga's got a timer on for. Do y'all happen to remember? Oh, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, That's like magic a... weapon. Mm, yeah, the holy weapon. That's right. Holy weapon. Uh, very so good. Helga's actually got four rounds left on her holy weapon now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is very helpful. So you've got that hit points helpful. and AC, right? Yeah, hit points in red, ones. AC in blue... If you have a timer, it's in green. Very good to know. Thank you very much. Uh, your red dots on Helga's sheet are representative of the fact that she is quite ill. Um, she has she is subject to rat disease, and she has a sewer-infected wound. Oh my god, Helga. Uh, She's wow. fine. <laughs> She's been through it before. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, Nathan, would you start the uh, timer? I shall indeed. Torch timer is live. Wonderful. Okay. And with that... Uh, with that, I would like to ask what y'all want to do this round. Um, you can feel free to just shout it out. I think we're done in this big room here, because obviously we've killed all the enemies, we've done our little search around, we burned all the mushrooms. So I think our next bet bet is to go to the other end. We remember there was an opening over that way. So I think that's our general consensus, right? Yeah. All right. So, um, uh, so uh, I I hear no objections. Mm -mm. All right. Not at all. Great. Fabulous. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, uh, well, y'all can make it to here. Yay. Great, so that's one round. Very good. Now, uh, top of the next round, uh, what are y'all wanting to do from here? Still move across? I think so. I'm just wondering if there's maybe danger right near the doorway that's that's the trick we don't know is there a way for us to maybe maybe kind of prepare for that or um well we still yeah, have some of those fire question. arrows don't we but yet again is it worth shooting one right now and kind of see if it does anything or should we just maybe maybe uh, send like one or two people in first and kind of have the rest be a bit weary i think so so i, I would guess as yeah. much we can do to prepare yeah i think you're right so I would guess so, Sir Schnurf uh, and Helga kind of in the front, and then everybody else behind them. Uh. Okay. So, uh, so then I'll take it to turns. Um, uh, Gwen, what does she do on her turn? Uh, Stu, did you hear me? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I, I totally didn't register at all the name. Um, so I guess Gwen would just kind of like to move and uh, let's see. We're, we're, so we're standing on like the, the little central island by the ladder still? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess then, yeah, she is just going to want to move. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five just over here to kind of check things out um go ahead and move her to yeah Good. i have bad news for you 
Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Uh uh as you move oh, into jellyfish. this uh, as you move Forgot into about this, the jellyfish. Oh, yeah. Uh as she is move as she is swimming through the four foot deep um sewer water, what should she happen upon but by but the tendrils of sewer jellies? Great. Sewer jellies! Yay! Yay! Give me half a second here. I forgot to mark this page. Good. Okay. I need... Okay. Okay. Well... As the jelly reaches out and tries to ensnare you, something about the situation totally telegraphs it to you and you're able to avoid uh, the jelly. A remarkable feat while swimming. Yeah. Now, you still have your action. What will you do? Uh, I mean, does the jelly count as an enemy or is this sort of an obstacle? What, what is it exactly? It is, it is indeed a creature. Okay. Um, what language does it speak? <laughs> jellyfish. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah, it, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, None an of us have it. it's an extremely rare language called Nidarian. Oh my Nidarian. god! <laughs> Damn it, Harvester! We need you to talk to the jellyfish. <laughs> where is uh, where is Tabby when you need her? She'll speak no. jellyfish. That's right. So, Stu, um, what does Gwen do? I guess Gwen is going to um, use her. Yeah, she might as well. She's going to use her sty blade Good. Um, and just take a swing. Give me that sty blade attack. Slash, right. slash, slashy, slash. Hey. That's a hit. Roll for damage, please. Do it, do oh, it. Yes. Good. With a nimble flourish of your side blade, you slash through this uh, through this sewage Nidarian, uh, chopping it up and uh, causing its body to dissolve in the slightly acidic uh, muck. Now, right. Helga, the turn Helga. Heel. Helga. Because she's hurting still, she's going to very carefully start wading through the water. All right, go for it. Um, <clears throat> get up right maybe beside Gwen. And maybe, well, she'll try to go a little further. Why not? She's Great. Well, that's fine. Be. Um, I don't know what else she can really do. I you, mean, we're just you, st you still have your action. Uh, well, yeah, with your action, you can get just a little bit further. I should have been co costing you half movement through this. There you go. Okay. With your with your action, I will allow you to get that far. Cool. Good. Maeve. Maeve. Uh, Maeve. Stu, what okay. will Maeve yep. do? Maeve is going to... I guess just keep moving uh, right behind Helga, go with the ready. Um, but doesn't want to really get much closer than that until she can kind of see what's going on. Very good. So she will wait there. Borwas. Borwas. Um, Borwas. Be advised that Borwas is a small king, and he will need to swim. Because <coughs> he can't hold the torch, really. Mm. Well, it's it's possible that he will be able to hold the torch and swim at the same time, but that will be an act of endurance, and it will be very slow. Um, he's going to wait for uppies from Sir Schnurf. Uh, mm -hmm. right. Okay. Sir Schnurf <laughs> is here to give you the uppies. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that then. Can we do a, like, on the shoulders? 
Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. I mean, <laughs> you're not going to be able to carry me and have your sword, are you? So, yeah. You're right. You're, yeah, piggyback. But right. shoulder, yeah. back, shoulder back ride. Oh. Let, let's say they get about oh. there. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> that's a funky color, all right. Yeah, you, that's not a you, good... <laughs> you find that the fungal spores are getting intense. They're getting oh. so intense that even with your torchlight, you can't see very far into the fumes whatsoever. Oh, That's God. not good. Oh, God. Moreover, you sense that there is a light thrumming faintly from within the depths of these spore clouds. It, it yeah. might... It might even be as large and as strong as a campfire, but alas, these, the haze of these spores is blocking vision out past half near distance. Hmm. Hmm. So. Not lavender haze. Okay. Uh, oh, let's see. Uh, so that was, I'll call that your movement, uh, Sir Schnurf, and, uh, and if you want to go further, you can probably get as close as Maeve. Okay, um. Yeah. I think it's the right call. Because we don't know what's going to happen, we need you as close to the front as possible. Great. With your and as I, points. as I said, your, uh, uh, even though the light, it, even though your the light of your torch is helping you to see, your there is a hard limit on the extent you can see in yeah. this fog. Makes sense. Taryn. Um, Taryn does not like the look of any of this bullshit. It doesn't um, look safe to inhale. Maybe we should like wrap some fabric around our mouth or something. Well, we're, we're wearing a, a, a kind of thing, but I feel like it's only going to be so protective, you know. And Maeve and Gwen don't have the protective gear that we do. I didn't uh, even realize we had protective gear. We're, uh, we're yeah, yeah, it, it protects us somewhat from from a bit of the, the nastiness yep. down here. But I think I think this will be a bit extra challenging, is my initial guess. Um, well, I, it's not a whole lot Taryn can do at the moment besides just uh, shifting up with the group. He's probably going to stay near Gwen because he's uh, probably better nearer the back at the moment. I'll be that. Very good. Good. So, uh, and you're right. I forgot to check in the procedure for each of y'all's uh, tolerance of these spores. Would all of you make a constitution check right now? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Constitution. Oh, God. Taryn. Oh, oh, God. Whoopsies. I accidentally rolled with, uh... Taryn, that's so bad. Taryn, no! Taryn! Taryn! Yeah, re-roll Sir Schnurf, because he doesn't need disadvantage here. I already did. He got a 17 now. Great. Um, so, point of, point of order, I forgot to add one luck token to each of these characters. Uh, so anyone who... Yay. Uh, anyone, so I'm going to rule that anyone who already had leftover luck doesn't get that refresh of one, but that does mean Helga gets back one, uh, that does mean Schnurf doesn't get, uh, that doesn't, that Terran does not get, Maeve does not get, and Gwen does not get. Good, so, uh, so let me ask, uh, who, yeah, so... Helga and Terran. Those rolls are not good enough, and if you inhale those spores and they affect you, you will at least be dizzy. If you fail by five or more, your fate will be even worse. And I'll tell you that that is the situation that Terran would find himself in. I rerolled. Yeah, Terran, Terran ain't going in there right now. Is 11 enough? Uh, you spent a luck token? I did. Good, then that's fine. Uh, and that's good. So, do you want to spend a luck token for that roll, uh, Nathan? Uh, um. Yeah, go on then. We'll, we'll... 
Do what the cool kids are doing, Nathan. It's not what the cool kids are doing. This looks like a really uh, bad time. But, um, I just did it. What can we do? Oh, ah! it's Ooh. not much better. That was not oh, good. Yeah, no. Taren, Taren's going to stay out here. So, yeah, that's 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 right. not... <laughs> we'll, we'll figure something out. Go find so a window. I... I need to add something to Karen Taryn's character sheet right quick. Karen. Okay. Thank you, Hermie Jackson. Karen now. Karen now. Karen's he It reminds me, <laughs> whenever you say his name, it reminds me of that SNL skit. I can't remember who it was, but the lady goes, Darren, Darren, no, Darren. And it, it sounds like Darren. <laughs> Darren, Darren, no. I gotta find that skit somewhere. Well, not right now, but um, yeah, later, <sighs> later. We have a torch yeah, timer. Doy, I was just waiting, waiting on our fearless leader. Thank you. Uh, you, Taryn has been infested by the fungal seed. You have experienced zero days uh, of gestation. Uh, <laughs> but uh. I'm going to become one of them. Oh, gosh. Maybe I should let him use search nerf's luck token. Uh, Zero days yeah, gestation. We can, tra we, can, we can transfer luck tokens, right? Yeah. You can okay. spend it for other people. If 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 everyone's consenting to the situation. Well, I think, I think the big question I really got is... In my current state... Can I be fixed slash cured? Yes, you oh, can. Okay. Uh, uh, but do we he, know how he, to do that? Uh, well, we don't a, know how to do that, but that doesn't mean it cannot be done. Y you will. I will give you more information if you get looked at by a priest or by a healer of House Jorosco. Don't we have, have a priest in the, I do in the have party? Four boss, yeah. Yeah. Ah. So, top of the round. Uh, what is everyone going to do from here? I don't like the idea of us going in there anymore. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I, don't, I mean, I suppose we technically I don't, we don't do have that. to, but it. I, I feel like we won't meet the criteria for beating the mission if we don't. Indeed, you remember that the you what you were sent to do was to stomp out the fungal spore infection and prove your worth to the Death Death's Gate Guild. There's nothing stopping you from turning tail and saying forget it to joining Death's Gate. However, you know that if you are able to resolve this problem, you will get in good with the Death's Gate, which would open up numerous adventuring and mon monetary opportunities. Besides, there's also a rumored to be a substantial upfront monetary payment for resolving this problem. Money? Yes. Money. Money, 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 money. Let's go. Search Nerf likes money. Helga likes money. Alright. So, what about, uh... Uh... And St Stuart, how about your characters? You know, Maeve and Gwen are... Pretty <laughs> reluctant to do this uh, after hearing the word fungal infection. Um, I'm sorry, fungal infestation. Uh, yeah, were, were, yeah. Was, were those your words? Yeah, okay. Um, oh. <laughs> but, uh, it's pretty rough. I feel the you know, moving inside me. Yeah. <laughs> specifically, uh, specifically, the fungal seed is gestating somewhere yeah. inside of your stomach, that's, believe it or not. That's, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, but you know, they also don't want to kind of, I mean, they're kind of, they're kind of stuck. Uh, they can't really go back to the surface because Maeve just tried to pull some shit. Um, so In fact, I guess we did we're following pull shit, believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh that's right. right. Yeah. We, we actually really, okay. No, I had forgotten about that. No, she yeah. pulled some shit and then some. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, um, yeah, let's, let's do the spores. Let's do it. Great. Okay, so, um, so I presume y'all are all approaching tentatively? Yes. In your basic marching order. 
Yes. Yep. All right. The fire is strong. Uh, all right. So let's just take it back to. Hmm. Let's take it back to turn order, Gwen. All right. So Gwen. Uh, Gwen's just gonna kind of move. Ca- well, you know, there's not a whole lot of a point of moving too cautiously. Um. Two, three. So be advised that until you get to this point, until you get uh-huh. to the tunnel at the end, you're going to be moving at half speed due to swimming. So one, two, oh. three. So you'll so be so able you to get, get here. here. And if you yeah, get your okay. action, you can start moving through here. Um, are people a lot? Uh, friendlies can pass through my space, right? Like I'm not yeah. blocking people. Yeah. No. Okay. Um. No, I, I think. Uh, I, th- I think she's gonna stay right here. Um, wait to get some light on the situation inside. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know what? If you want to get your feet onto dry land, uh, we can do that. Oh, uh, just use my action to dash a little well, bit. Uh, not even. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll just give you that extra five feet for uh, for the sake of getting you to not swim. I'm happy to okay. do that. Yeah. All right, Helga. Helga continues. Alright, so she raises above the depths of the cistern and she moves herself further down the line of the drain pipe. Let me now reveal some more spaces. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, Two. All that good. Uh, I need to go blow my nose really quick. Yeah, and you know, uh, can we put a quick pause on that timer, Nate? Because yep. I need to grab dice and more coffee. No so worries. I'm not taking a bio break, just grabbing some things. That's okay. Uh, pause it at 40 minutes. Got it. We'll reset it. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. I'll go back here and set up another one. That's not what I thought I would see. Pretty cool though. I was like waiting for Helga's turn to be done. I'm like, I can't, I can't. My nose is under me. It's it's okay. We're, we're taking a taking a quick quick moment. You're okay. Do, do, do. So it's 40 minutes. Yes. Pop that in there. What? One cent. Give me a moment to grab a drink. That's good. Okay. Let me fly. I'll catch up with you in a sec, chat. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, friends. Thank you for your patience. I'm back with Fizzy Bublik and uh, Dunn's. Stu, you good for your turn with Maeve? Yeah, yeah, we're all set. Great. What shall you do? Um, she is going to be a little bit braver. Ooh. Um, well, I don't, is is that as far as the light goes in there? Well, you know. Uh, the light probably extends further, or could extend further, but because mm-hmm. of the intensity of the fumes, that is as oh, far as you can see. Okay, that's what's doing it. That that was kind of my question. I was wondering because seems like it usually goes further. Um, it does. So okay, and Maeve is not at half. Is Maeve at half speed in this water? How far can she? Uh, you you'll only be able. You'll only be taking one, two. Uh, so. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
she could get to right here if she wanted to. Alright. Just with her movement. She'll do that. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, let me uh, reveal. Let me reveal. Okay. Reveal time. Sebastian. Alright. You can see just a little bit further into this fog. Let me give you a brief description of what's going on here. Like I said, this air is crazy thick and floating with spores. It appears to be some kind of real natural cave. In fact, you can hear the roaring of the ocean in the very far distance. It makes you wonder whether whether this cave might be connected to the bay uh, or, or, or perhaps the harbor of Stormreach. Hmm. That's bay as in B-A-E. Mm -hmm. The most beautiful and precious one in Stormreach. It might be connected. Just out of general curiosity, let's say there is a Bay of Stormreach. Um, <laughs> what would their name be? We'll have to get Nerf back to that. Nerf of oh, we'll have to no. get back to that because it's still Maeve's turn. Uh, no, no, we can we can get back to it pretty quick um, because Maeve can Maeve just like kind of keep her bow at the ready, hold her action in case something comes flying out of the darkness at her. I approve. Okay. Search nerf is the bay. Well, Borwas uh, is guess being then... held, yeah, so he's kind of just at the mercy. <laughs> uh, search nerf. Search nerf. Search nerf is gonna continue his way. Hey. With Bolasi. Bring the torch bearer. Good. On your shoulders. <laughs> is there anything else for search nerf then? Not really. There's not. All not right. too much he can do. Terry. I mean, unless he can, like, look further. Terry. Not so. Terry. He's nearby. Just Taren. hanging out with his friends, having a good time. From the Just rear, chilling. naturally. From the rear. Because then if anybody oh. dies up front, he knows, get the fuck out. You know, he's smart like yeah. that. Yeah, he's the caboose. No, he's the urchin. He's the smart boy. Raised on the streets, bitch. Oh. I see. Is what he would say to Sir Sir. Oh. <laughs> Might just call him a bitch anyway. <laughs> I understand. So, I call him a bitch too. Top of the round. As you round. all as you all approach and the so sound of the roaring cistern gets softer. You sense or perhaps imagine the sound of muttering, some low voice, perhaps a woman's voice, muttering. It seems to be coming from inside this cave, and yet also somewhat above. Perhaps as though, not as though if it were coming from the ceiling, that wouldn't make any sense. But yes, in crazy. Indeed, you do hear some soft muttering from within. Top of the round. Gwen. Oh. Collectively. Um, collectively, what should we... Uh, uh, or, in, or, or generally speaking, what do each of you want to do? Yeah. Um, what do we think is the best course of action? Because it looks like there's a sharp corner here, maybe. So it's like immediately <sighs> goes down, down this way. I don't think uh, it goes I, up or anything. I think it's just it goes down, doesn't it? I will tell you that... Uh, uh, give me half a second here because I can tell you that the opacity of this fog cloud is just a little bit intense. And I wonder how I can change the opacity of this fog cloud. Hmm. First of all, is a drawing... Hmm. 
I wonder if I can change its opacity. Give me just half a second here. Done. Hmm. Uh, but apparently not. Okay. So let me tell you. Yes. Let me tell you that you find, like, just like in the previous room, there is a sudden drop off in this. Uh, uh, in, in the pipe here. You are able to navigate it and see it quite clearly, although with this yellow fog cloud, it's extremely not clear on the map. So, that's my prop, my my mistake. But your characters are able to see it and navigate it just fine. Okay. Um, I guess, for our safety, do we want to kind of move as a fairly tight cluster? On a unit. Just kind yeah, of move, uh, move unit, slowly. Yes. I think slowly would be the, the best thing to do, really, because we don't know what our surroundings are until we have a proper picture. I think slow is the best call. You're right. Yep. I very agree good. with that idea. Uh, very good. Uh, I want all of you to make dexterity checks then. Uh... That is something my guys should be very good at. Yes. Yep. Uh, uh, yes, indeed. Taryn and Gwen will both have advantage on these checks. Oh, well, Taryn probably didn't okay. need it, but... Uh... <laughs> With his, uh, six, his 16. 13 and 16. Alright. Four was at 12. Good. Oh, you God. are all... You are all proceeding... You all proceed carefully so carefully through this cursed fungal mist and and uh indeed uh and indeed i will reward you for your caution rewards uh this was supposed to be reveal come on now there we go Ooh. Hmm. nice nice misty effect it's very nice so, you find, yeah, along the edges here, you can begin to see the outline of this cave, and you are moving slowly and surely through uh, the non-mist. You, you move quietly and with caution, and you hear the sound of that strange voice. It is... As you approach, uh, actually, let me let me go ahead and reveal to you just a little bit more. As you approach, you see a a a ledge. You see a ledge, and you and that murmuring voice you heard earlier comes from on the top of it, mm -hmm. from right here. From right here, you can hear that murmuring voice, and you get the sense that you can see that the fog clouds are even brighter around right here. This all seems to be coming from one place, which, again, at the top of at the top of this cliff. Interesting. Very interesting. I guess we need to get up there. <laughs> yes. Oh no! Yeah. You should go first. Yes. Uh, top of the round. Uh, uh, should we just move to... In what does, what's everyone's approach going to be at the top of the round? Slowly but surely. Um, right. Taryn would like to sneak, since there are no threats yet, and he would like to be prepared in case one appears. Very good. And he can probably sneak at a relatively good clip. Is that what Gwen is interested in doing as well? Yeah, Gwen would absolutely like to do that. Um, she does not like this fungus mist. And will everyone, so. and will everyone else be slowly but surely? Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. So, um... One, two, three. We can go ahead and resolve those. Uh, Taryn and Gwen, I'll let y'all keep going at your relative clip, but y'all can move at full speed. Mm -hmm. Uh, I said relative clip, but I meant, uh, 
uh, with your same dexterity check for stealth. Oh, with that same dexterity check, okay. No new checks required. Go ahead and just move where you want to go. Mm, I might go, like, thinking maybe just a bit south, just in case. Good. I don't know what we're going to deal with yet, but if there is a threat, hopefully the group will mainly engage it, and then Terran can come in from the side yeah. behind is what I'm what I'm thinking. I imagine Gwen would probably do the same kind of stuff. Yeah, Gwen being tiny is going to sort of try and kind of take cover behind the ledge, try and get underneath it a little bit so that she can't be seen by anything on top. Good. If that's possible. Yes, I think uh, that makes sense to me. Uh, I'm just having a little bit of a difficult time with the tools. Uh, I don't know. All right. Yes, 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 indeed. Up above on this ledge. Seemingly unaware of your presence, muttering over a spell book and a fire, is a giant-sized hag. This must be the Rashime giant druid Freya Blackwood, which y'all have heard about. Who, the same woman who has gone missing. How she has transformed from a uh, how she has transformed from a very normal looking giant into this m monstrously warped apparition is anyone's guess. Uh, um, she just needs a little makeup. Hmm. At Make this moment, at this moment, where from where she stoops in her camp, her head, you see her head moving around like so. She seems to be dazed by the very spores that she has herself conjured. Huffing on her own sublime. Mistakes. Yeah. So, I'm not going to make with, profit that way. <laughs> with this in mind, what do you do? Hmm. Right, let's, let's talk generally as a group before we engage this lady, because clearly we need to kill her. She's probably the reason behind all this stuff. I am tempted to start launching some fire arrows and or stuff at her. Shoot her in the face. Shoot her in the face. Well, yeah, naturally. I am thinking fire That's arrows true. as well. I don't know if it'll set the whole place ablaze, though, because it's like a crazy gassies kind of thing going on. So I'm a little Maybe we can that. lure her out. Out of the... Maybe, but like, it's, it'd be a bit of a distance. Like, attack her and then run? It'd be a bit of a distance, but it is an idea. It is an idea. I'm not fully opposed to it. It would be somewhat safer, because then at least we get out of this gas. Unless we is could she, just kill her quickly. Is she sentient? She is sentient, and let, let me tell you, I forgot to include some important details about just how dangerous of a woman this is. She is, by all accounts, a fully trained druid and a giant on top of it. Oh, uh, uh, She could probably, uh, she must stand at least 15 feet tall at the shoulder, and... Uh, and who knows what kind of magic she can wield. However, if she is responsible for conjuring these spores, and if your and if that uh, magic user you y'all met last session was indeed her apprentice, then that must speak to the depth of her arcane knowledge. Mm. Maybe we can make friends. Yeah, fuck that. We're here to eradicate oh, the spores. No. I don't think she's here. Yeah, we haven't you. found a source. Okay, have, how we, about... have we identified a source yet? Uh, according to the magic user you met last time, uh, she, Freya Blackwood, is responsible for bringing the spores here. Presumably, if she is eliminated, perhaps these spores might clear up with her. Okay, so there's no, there's no like she didn't like conjure something that is generating these spores from another location. It's coming off of her. It's they, going off of her specifically? They seem, that, that, seem, like? that seems to be the case, yes. Um, okay. 
Hmm. Does she notice us? She does not yet notice you. Uh, no, indeed not. How do we want to do you this? You said she's up on a cliff? Yes, she is sitting upon a rocky shelf. Oh. Um, do we want to have sitting... Search Nerf and Helga lock her down while the rest of us hit her from afar? Maybe. Um, how is she so, sitting? so, I'll apply is... Holy Weapon to you. Is she yeah. sitting like crisscross applesauce or her legs dangling over the side of the little cliff? Like, yes, no, no. crisscross questions. applesauce. These, are good, these yeah. are good questions. No, I, I agree. These are good questions. Hmm. Very good questions. Let me think about this for half a second here. Hmm. <laughs> applesauce. I hate applesauce. Yeah, this room looks like applesauce. <laughs> it does look a bit like applesauce. Everywhere. <laughs> Now, uh, for the sake of clarifying the scene, I'm going to remove the, the fog, fog cloud. cloud. I'm going to remove the fog cloud thing. And so hmm. we can see where the heck everything is. Yeah. Uh, so that y'all can see the benefits of this map. Hmm. So. Again, this room is still filled just as much with yell with horrible yellow f uh, fumes. Mm. But now that y'all are here, this is what you can see, and I think this will make the user face just a little bit more palatable. Let's okay. see. Uh, so, uh, how high up is the cliff? Yeah, I was about to say I have an idea, but I would so, like to clarify what exactly we're looking at here. So, the cliff, let's say, is 10 feet tall. Okay. Which means the top of the room must be about 25 feet tall. Now, how is she sitting? If we, it's a one, let's call it uh, back against the wall. If it's two, we're going to say crisscross. I like it. I like it. Let the okay. rolls decide. If it's three, her feet are over the ledge. I'm hoping that's the case. If it's four, she is huddled over the fire. Uh, if it is five, she's strung out and laying on the ground. Strung out. And if it is Monster. six, uh, can someone think of a number six suggestion for me? Um, maybe she's uh, like sitting on the ground away from us. Like not looking at uh, or like something. Like standing and pacing oh. or something. I don't know. Uh, so, she doesn't have enough room to stand in pace. She only really has enough room to sit here. Uh, but perhaps she's, uh, ooh, facing the wall. Yeah. That would be creepy. So. Yeah, like a uh, Blair Witch style, kind of. <laughs> that would be it's, so creepy. Precisely. According to the dice, she is strung out and laying on the ground. Mm. She still has a book that she is looking over, but you can hear... Uh, you can hear her muttering, and if you had the perspective, uh, if you had perfect third-person perspective, you would see her head wobbling. But in any case, you can infer that she is dazed. Right. Good. With so, that, okay. let's go ahead and move to turns. Gwen. Okay, um... Of course I'm first. Well... Dangling over the edge. Are we agreeing um, that we're going to try to engage her? Because if so, we need to figure out how we're going to set up. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, we didn't move to turns. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a step back. I know I said we're moving to turns, but we we're still getting setting up the scenario. So, what do y'all want to do generally for this round? Do we want to set up for uh, engagement? I'm gonna take her take her on, or or do you want well, to try to talk to her? I mean, it depends. Do we want to be hostile or not hostile? Because if we she's in a do... daze, I feel like she ain't gonna be very coherent. So I feel like talking wouldn't really. Yeah, I don't think it's going to help. So should we sneak as close as we can to her and all sneak attack her, or should we just start shooting well, I, arrows? I, I don't think everybody's going to be very capable of sneaking, and that could perhaps end our potential surprise. I think Gwen and Taryn probably are the best at that. Perhaps even Maeve. They might be able to all do some sneaky stuff to maybe start the engagement. And then that's when we need, like, Sir Schnurf and Helga to, to lock her down so she can't really go anywhere. Because then we have the advantage in the fight. Hmm. 
And I remind you that whatever you want to do, you're going to have to overcome this 10 foot uh, tall cliff. That's true. Yeah. In I think case... we should all be up on the platform before we start the engagement um, mm -hmm. and kind of in position because she's not going anywhere right now. So yeah, I don't think she would come down to us. I, I agree. If she's a druid and she can do anything remotely, you know, away from us, I think she would. So, yeah, you got a good point. I'd try to roll her into the fire. <laughs> Maybe that wouldn't work out. I don't know what she's kind of strength you would need to roll tall. a giant, <laughs> but you'd probably need some insane strength. I forgot. Giant. Big giant. It's a giant so, lady. Let me ask, who is trying to climb up this rock face? So, uh, for my guys, I would say Terran would be from the south, like maybe down here, so that way he can maybe kind of get on the edge and sneak attack from that way. Borwas will not, unless he's following Search Nerf, because he's probably going to holy weapon some stuff and oh. kind of provide support for people. Can I bring Search Nerf, like, right up here? And since Borwas is on his shoulders, uh, Search Nerf can kind of give him a little... Eh. Well, you yeah. certainly can on your turn. Yes, whatever, after... I mean, what? it's probably not are a good we, idea to put Borwas now? up there, unless everybody else oh. is already up there, because Borwas has one hit point, and he's oh, our oh. only support healing. Let's not do that. So he should not be anywhere engaging. He should be yeah. behind people. Oh, I like wait a thinking. second, guys. What's guys, up? there's a corridor. What? Yep, a the, corridor. Indeed, there is a corridor right here. Oh, shit. There is a corridor. Do you want to go down there and see what... Because I can see. I think I see an enemy. Oh, do you think there might be a way to get around her? Do you think maybe on the other end of her there's a... Oh, okay. I see what you're thinking. Oh, maybe It's behind. an idea. We could go down the corridor and see where that goes first. And maybe... Get, yeah, because if you know? we accidentally get into a fight with her and then some enemies start running into the room, that's oh, not good. So let's go shit. defeat them and then come back to Good her. catch. Good yeah. catch. Okay, I agree with you. Might circle back around too, and we can get her from behind. Yeah. Although I guess it doesn't really matter yeah. since she's yeah. strung out. But she needs to get her life Might together. As well see. So, strung out. So new information has come to the fore. There is a, a pathway down this way. So let me ask: Who is trying to investigate? Uh, no. I think we uh, should all go. Yeah. We should all just kind of come yeah. together and just slowly inch our way towards that corridor, being like, don't do anything. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't think she's going to be too noticeable, but you're right. If there are other threats, sneaky is probably the best way to go. All right. So y'all are all trying to move this way. Is that right? Correcto. Yes. Yep. All right. So let's, uh, I'd like for y'all to all just move your tokens over here generally. So I'll start with Taryn. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah. Let's. Maybe not have people go through walls. I will hands off. Great. Uh -oh. So you find your a little dude. You find yourself face to face with a Sawagan. Who has the uh, who has the highest charisma in this group? Mm. I don't think it's Search Nerf. Ter Terran and yeah, Morwas are fourteen, so. Good. Mavis so, is four. It's Terran, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, roll 2d6 plus 2, if you don't mind, Nathan. Okie dokie. For some reason, I can't open Sir Schnurf's, uh character sheet. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, there it is. Got it. Oh, Chris was only three. We have a seven. Not bad. Yay. I always forget where monster reaction uh, tables are, so I'm going to just finally bookmark that. All right, you rolled a seven. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's a good roll on this check. Thank God. <laughs> Yay! Uh, I could go there. So... Gugame is here. You find yourself face to face with a fishy shark type creature. Uh, I say it's sharky, but it also has a, the general frame of a humanoid. This creature is a Sawagan. It is the same manner of creature that abducted you and your crew 
on your perilous journey to Stormreach in the first place. However, this one doesn't seem as violent. This one seems a little bit younger. Seems a little bit um, it's a sweeter. Oh. Now, it's it's not a baby baby, but perhaps a young adult. Sawagan sees you, tilts its head, takes a step back, and says, Who are you? Hi. Um, I'm Taryn. These are my friends. We're, um, so sure like... what's, what's your name? No, 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 don't you... Don't you? I've got this. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Slushua. Slushua. That's a cool. That's a cool. Don't you fucking laugh. That's a great name. That's a really good name. I'm. Uh, so what are you? What are you doing down here? We seek the depths. Have you found depths? We. Oh, are there? Is there more than one of you down here? Oh, only one in tunnel. Okay. In in this tunnel, but there are more. Bad, bad fumes. Mm, I agree. Bad fumes. We're here to we're here to stop the bad fumes. You find depths. Ah. I, um, I don't know. Maybe. I, I was I was going to say no, but I, I guess you had something to say. No, I um I was just saying uh, out of character. Maybe we should ask him things like. I'm trying. I'm trying. Go and I'm trying. Know anything about I'm me. trying. But guess hey. what? I, guess what else I'm trying to do? Hey. I'm trying not to aggro. It depends on how you talk to these people. Okay. Okay, okay y'all. Be sweet. Slushy was a nice, right. a nice Sawagan. We're gonna be nice to him. <sighs> okay. Maybe he can be our friend. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Slushua. So, uh, he just asked you if you have seen, if you have found depths. We have, we have not, no. This is the, the deepest we've gone so far. Hmm. He, he nods his head. And he says, Slashua and friends, we seek the depths. That you, that you do. Well, if we if we come across the depths, I'll I'll be sure to let you know. Are we okay to pass through here, though? You can swim. A little bit, yeah. How far? Far. The big swim. Uh, he points down the cave tunnel and says, "Goes to harbor." Goes to harbor. Goes oh. Outside. Interesting. Um, do you know that big lady up there? lady yeah big big ugly creature she uh she's reading book she's high on f on bad fumes i know go into fumes yeah i get that i get that so you don't know her. that's cool um yeah guys i don't think i don't think slosher was a, a threat so i don't see a point for us to is there anything you guys want to ask do you want to talk to slosher before you i'm not sure how intelligent uh Bloshua is, and I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know. He can give us some yeah. information, but I think I think we got what we needed, yeah. which is this does not circle back around, and no. they're not hostile enemies down here, so I think we're safe. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you know, and we've told them that we're going to get rid of the bad fumes, so hopefully that means they yeah. won't aggro us. Yeah, yeah. And they don't want to go into the fumes, so they're not no. going to attack us so I, th I think we're all right. Yeah. I think yeah. they answered all our questions. Well, do we, do we now circle back and Set up for a fight in Big Lady? Yeah. Yes, we have to. Great. Thank you for your time, Sloshua. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, didn't uh, think I was going to talk to a Sawagan today. <laughs> so, top of the round. Y'all have just uh, debriefed with a Sawagan who was interested in it, uh, who seems to be seeking the de depths beneath the city of Stormreach. This seems related to one of the posters you saw before. Uh, uh, oh, questions about what the Sawagan could possibly seek beneath the depths of the city remain unanswered. However, what is apparent is the necessity of dealing with Freya Blackwood. 
she still seems perfectly uh, contented in her own business on top of this uh, uh, rock slab. However, that is it is evil, wicked business that is causing people to turn into fungal abominations. What would you do, generally speaking, before we move into turns? Um, hmm. I guess we gotta get up there. No matter what, right? We gotta get up there. I think we should all get up there and get far against the wall and go from there. If we can all get up there without her noticing us, that would be optimal, I think. Makes sense. Okay. Maybe. Good. Hi, Elsa. What's up? I guess we'll start by seeing yeah, if we can climb up here. Can we? Maybe yeah, safely. how do we... Should we go one by one, rolling for things or should we all uh, go in a group let me ask are y'all all trying to climb up there mm. i guess the feet feet they definitely high. are it yeah, yeah taryn uh, would be just because of the sneak attacks so taryn yeah. yes uh gwen i'm assuming yes gwen and mave as well just because they're both ranged so they wouldn't really be able to do much it'd be hard to get an angle on her from it, below it, it, it would be, and with the de density of the fog, if you move past, uh, if you're trying to, yeah, it just would be hard. Okay, so it, sound, it sounds like everyone's trying to get up there. Good, so... Uh, Before we fully get up there, Borwas might cast Holy Weapon on um, Sershner's Greatsword. Ah, uh, speaking of, we need to subtract about two rounds from Helga's uh, Holy Weapon. So she's got about two rounds on Holy Weapon. Yeah, Borwas. Uh, so Borwas will cast a spell on his turn, and that's fine. Cool. Um, uh, and um, and everyone else is going to climb. Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, Gwen, uh, let's go ahead and get that uh, strength check from you. Strength? Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, it's not as Woo, bad. Gwen! Wow, I can roll. Shit. That's good. Oh, Great. wow. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I was like, nope. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, because uh, of her psionic athleticism, she probably uh, should have gotten oh. advantage on that. So, uh, But it's fine. She, uh, she quickly, uh, with a combination of her physical skill and her using her psionics to uh, alight herself even further and faster up the cliff face, uh, you scramble up to the top without much difficulty. Um, uh, you find yourself in front of a large fire, a large campfire, and a lumbering giantess corrupted <laughs> by the forces of nature's darkness and the spiritual wickedness of revenge. Uh, do you, what do you want to do for your action? Oh boy. Um, you can also scoot around to a relative position. Yeah, I would say that she's going to kind of want to put herself between the fire between herself and uh, the Big cave mushroom <laughs> giant monster. Um, very, very good. I, uh, I will allow you to make a stealth check before because of that. So roll dexterity. Uh, okay. And you'll have advantage on that because of your psionic athleticism. Yay! Fabulous. Yeah. Good. You remain as yet unnoticed by Freya. Okay. Um... Does so she? You said she's laying down, so she's technically prone. Does does the rule carry over from normal like D and D and D twenty games that ranged attacks uh, are disadvantaged against prone enemies? Hmm. Well, uh, you know, it depends on which table that works at, but um, I would say that given this situation, um, that that probably would definitely be true. Uh, still. Okay. Uh, and probably all the. Uh, and, you know, because she's prone and because she's on a cliff face, uh, if you can't even make ranged attacks on her from in, uh, if you're not on top of the cliff. 
Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, Gwen does not want to start uh, anything with this giant if her teammates aren't aren't able to make it up and uh, distract the monster from coming after her after she puts a dagger in the giant. So uh, she's just going to hold uh, her, her psi knife um, and wait for... Um, one of the melee characters to take action against the giant. And at which point she'll try and use her sneak attack. Alright, so... Um, if that's possible. Uh, so you're readying your action to uh, attack with your side blade? Yes. I'll allow it. Uh, Helga. Alright. Helga will slowly but surely do the same. Slowly make her way up the wall. I need a strength hand. check. You got it. Um, oh, don't go, Elsa. Okay. Oh, uh, nice. Two using, using her the power of her strong biceps, Helga hefts mm. herself up the uh, rocky cliff face without much difficulty. You find yourself uh, practically face to face with this uh, corrupted hag. However. Uh, she doesn't notice you yet. Good. You have you have only a few seconds to make a choice before she does. What do you do? Make a choice? What do you mean? Uh, How will you gonna... try to... Uh, will you try to hide behind... Uh, <coughs> will you try some means of countermeasure against her notice like Gwen did? Yes. Yes, I want to try to sneak. Uh, you're going to need to tell me how you do that. I get as low to the floor as possible and try to stay in the in the uh, glare or the 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 good so light you throw, of fire. You throw yourself prone and you try to get close to the fire. Make a dexterity check. Maybe I shouldn't make myself prone. I just mean I get close to the floor. I don't like get on my knees and stuff. But uh, you said dexterity. Then uh, yeah, uh, in that case, you're going to have to give me dexterity with disadvantage. I was going to suggest you throw a, uh, throw a rock past her. Like, get her attention away from me, that kind of thing? Mm -hmm. It's uh... up to you what you think is best. My idea is not amazing, I'll be honest. Might buy you, like, three seconds. <laughs> I mean, either way, I'm either going to be prone or I'm going to roll with disadvantage. So I like that idea. Or you just better. like immediately rush yeah. her. Yeah. If you uh, so it's a matter of aiming and getting your wrist work right. So I'd allow you to make a strength check to throw a small pebble uh, at a place you choose. Okay. Um, I will so, throw a small pebble. And where small do you pebble. uh, and uh, where do you want to throw it to? Um, I'm gonna aim for like straight. Over here. Just Great. Like on the other side. Make your strength check then. Oh. All right. Uh, at you can feel the rock fall. Uh, uh, flinging off your fingers at the wrong angle in this moment. Would you like to use a luck, uh, a I think luck I token to change it? I think I should because. I'm only the second person up here. And if she starts to notice our group is bad. Um, I'll use search nerfs one. Strength check again. Let's try. <sighs> Come on. It's better. All right. You board. throw a rock over here. Uh, what? Where? Uh, you, you succeed. You throw that rock. Yay! I threw rock. Uh, Freya's... Is... Uh, Freya's gaze, uh, go, uh, turns in the direction away from you as you make a quick hop, skip, and a run for the other side of the fire. <laughs> well done. Maeve. Maeve. Okay. Um, so, uh, just quick point of order. So, that, like, she, she noticed, she, she noticed the rock. Like, she made a, a movement to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so she's not totally, like, obtunded or uh, unconscious or anything like no, that. No, not, not at all. Okay. She, she okay. is 
she is dazed. She is not. Uh, she's not unconscious. Gotcha. Okay. She's a blazed. Uh, you know, yeah, a I guess. Blazed and dazed. Um. All right. So Maze. One, two. Um. Would is this a spot that she could occupy after climbing up? Yeah, that if be she fine. were to make it up. Okay. Then she's going to try and do that. So do you want a strength check? Yes, please. Okay. Who are the two who's going to do ranged? Taryn and uh, Possibly Taren. Maeve. Uh, uh, Maeve only, yeah, Maeve only has the long bow, too. So. And also has long swords. we should have recruited yeah. our little fish guy to help us. He wasn't going right. to go oh, in the no. so... We could have convinced him. So, Maeve's, uh... Maeve is going to use a luck token for that. Roll, roll again. Would you like Maybe. another luck token? Oh, come on. <laughs> Use another luck token. I can, I can, I, can. A, I think I've got I, a she, she had... Mine. What the? <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh my uh, god. Yeah. Um. Destiny, fate really just doesn't want me on top of this. Uh, Borwash uh, has got two. I can give you one if you want. Uh, no, I, I should just use... Next. She'll use her last one. She'll use her last one and just do it again. And, hey, and then she's what I'm talking there. We about. go. That's it. That's better. That's much better. I only took three luck tokens. That's fine. Ooh, Great. And you got a nat twenty. Just, you back. You do a backflip up the wall. <laughs> just as I planned it. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> uh, searching your deep reserves of heroic. Uh oh, uh, guys. Heroic of course. Very deep reserves. Of course. I know. I know. I know. Uh, it'll be Borwas's <laughs> turn. Don't worry. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna do torture. All right. Yep. Yeah. Since you're declaring it now, I will allow it. So, um, that's fine. So good. Maeve makes it up to the top. Um, uh, let's do an in media res for Borwas's action right now. Then we'll get Maeve her action. Uh, Borwas, you're gonna light the torch for your action instead of casting uh, a holy weapon. Well, I'm gonna have to take the torch off of uh, Sir Schnurf, so it's gonna be his torch, and then Borwas will carry. But yes, I think that's uh, the most important thing for us to do at the moment is uh, light up do you the have torch. A, do you have a torch in your inventory to sacrifice? Uh, Sir Schnurf does. Good. Then remove that torch and consume Borwas's action, and Borwas will hold it. Good call. Good. Perfect. We're all safe. So we'll need to move that torch over to Borwas, and then we can restart that torch timer. Good. So we'll just have to remember to skip Borwas's action. Mave, your action. Uh, Mave's just going to hold a longbow, uh, knock an arrow, and kind of draw it back, and again, wait for some of the melee fighters to be placed in between her and giant fungus monster great so mm. it is at about this moment damn it. that damn it damn it that uh <laughs> I was gonna do something. that Freya Blackwood's countenance turns to you and she says what fools have stumbled here she, with considerable effort, hefts her body <laughs> upward. Oh, fuck. Somebody should have kicked the fire on her. Oh, we lost the dog. And lost she, the dog. she reaches out. Oh. She reaches out. Out with one gnarled, clawed hand, something that's visibly sprouting mushrooms from it, and reaches out in the direction of Maeve and clutches her fist. And she channels her magic power, but. Oh. Mm. That's great. I think one of us is gonna die today, guys. Yeah. Feel it. No, I hope it's search nerf. He has the most health, so. But be advised before you freak out <clears throat> that this roll is a DC twelve, but she has disadvantage. Mm. Oh, 
she Even still succeeds. <laughs> can I, re-roll can it. I, wait, yeah. Can I force a reroll? Go for it. Kayla Baker, hi. Uh, Hold have on. You, let me, who, let me. Who, whose luck token will you spend? Uh, Gwen's. All right, how many luck tokens? Okay. How many luck tokens does that put her at? Zero. All right, and how many luck tokens does Maeve have? Uh, zero. zero. Great. Uh, luck token count. How many? Who? Who all has what? Schnurf has one. Okay. Saren has one. Uh, Borwas has two. Very good. Good. And Helga, I presume, has zero. Mm-hmm. Good. All right. Yes, you can force that reroll. Uh, yeah, I will. Let's, let's do that. Yeah. Oh wait. No. Oh, that's, that's not you rolling. That's, that's no, her. That's, that's that's bad. Yeah, that's <laughs> not a good thing. It's a, oh well, God. I saw the twenty, and I was so happy for just a second. All right. Except it's the enemy roll. <laughs> uh, unless anyone else is going to use uh, use the draconic prophecy to uh, twist uh, Freya's fate worse. Borwas will spend one luck token. All right. Fine. I have to move the torch out the oh. time. I'm sorry. Oh. Fine. There we go. Can you using your uh, using your luck to the uh, pushing your luck <clears throat> to the absolute limit? Freya's drink spell, drink pain spell has uh, failed in her hands. She doesn't lose her spell. However, uh, uh, however, uh. Maeve is was not subject to it this time. Thank God. We probably just and, saved Maeve's life. And with that, we need to change our music just a little bit. <laughs> I did not like that. Mm-hmm. So bad. So, uh, that was Maeve's turn, and she finishes it so, by. Mm-hmm. Yeah, since obviously. She's been noticed. Can Maeve let loose the arrow that she had not? As can and Gwen can unleash her uh her sneak attack. Yep, that's right. So right. go. Uh, you can do that in whatever order you like. All right. So let's see. Maeve shows up first on my list. So let's see. Longbow. Come on. Hmm. No good. Mm. Okay. Um. And does Gwen have advantage on this? She does. Okay. Um. Come on. That's a hit with the side blade. Twenty one. All right. Oh. Roll her damage. We're on. Roll her damage again. Wait, what? Um, yeah, okay. did it with disadvantage. Ooh, okay. yeah, that's right. Nice. Good. Good. Good start. So, out of her 28 hit points, she has just lost four. 28? And her armor class is 14. Armor we class. Have information. Good. Now. She said 14? Oh. Yep. Yes. And she has 24 hit points left. Yep. Yes, that's right. Borwas has already used his action to relight the torch. Would right. you like to use your movement? Um, it's not much point for him to go up there. I think he's in an okay position at the moment. Nah, he'll just hang tight. Taryn. Mr. Taryn, um, what's the range on the short bus? Is, is it just line of sight, or is it within a certain... It's line of, it's line of sight. Okay. I would say she this is going to be a disadvantage line of sight if I were to shoot from here, though, because of the uh, the nastiness. Hmm. In fact, uh, Taryn, can't, tell him. Taryn cannot see far enough into the fog to uh, to take aim at uh, to take aim at her. Makes sense, makes sense. In which case... I think the best bet would be to move him up. Hmm. But I don't really want to push him all the way up. It'd be best if Sir Schnurf gets up there, really. So Terran might just move up to here, and he's going to kind of ready himself, but he's not going to climb up just yet. Sure. 
Uh, fine. Uh, Sir Schnerf. Sir Schnerf. Um. Fuck him up. Um, does he have, he does have a longbow. Can I shoot? No, you cannot see, uh, for, you, you are blinded twice against this. You can only see 15 feet into this fog, and, uh, even then, uh, the angle of the shot would make it, uh, impossible to see her. Okay. Um, he's gonna, he's gonna get up there. He's our tank, get him up there. (laughs) Try to attack with his greatsword. Alright, one thing at a time. Uh, Yeah. Uh, give me your strength check to climb up the hill. Come on, Schnurfy! Schnurfy! Alright, and in fact, as a fighter, uh, with your strength of grit, you would have advantage on this kind of check, but uh, you already succeeded with just the regular, so good work. I suppose you bring your uh, greatsword to bear against oh, yeah. this. Alright, make your greatsword attack. Oh, Before he, well, hmm, no, I'll do that with Helga. Okay. <laughs> Great. Nice wow. one. Lucky. Fucking great. Uh, great. Roll for damage. Great click sword. That, yeah, click that great sword button for damage. Beautiful. Wow. Fucking great. Eight. Wow, Snurf. Great start, man. So now we're at 16. Come on, Good. guys. Gwen, top, Gwen, top of the round. You... Uh, there, it, you have oh, no, you have before, no pretense, mo oh, what? Before we go into the next round, can Sir Schnurf now, right before, right, right after he hits, can he put his great sword into the flames to get it hot? You may, you may be able to That's do that on time. your, uh, uh, you know what? I'll allow it. If you take a, a strong leftwards, uh, rightwards swipe, you can end with your great sword in the flames. Boom. Exactly. That's exactly what I was picturing in my head. So now it'll be searing hot for the next swipe. All right. Interesting. What a cunning... Uh, as a fighter, I will allow it. Um, Thank you. Uh, uh, Gwen, you have no pretense of stealth. What will you do? Um, well... Oh, oh man. Uh, is there... So this this black so she's like right up against the cave wall essentially am i am i imagining that correctly yeah that's right okay um oh boy um well there's not really much to hide behind she's just gonna kind of i guess first before moving anywhere she's just gonna throw another side blade at uh at the giant um before deciding what to do next come on go ahead. make your attack roll uh... That's a good hit. Um, now, nice. I'm gonna need you to roll that again because you did not have advantage. Oh man, I, st- I forgot to turn that off. Uh, okay, go back normal. Oh, regrettably, okay. a, a re- regrettably, a yeah. set does not hit. You okay. cause your side blade and it reforms instantly in your hand. Yeah. Um, so, <coughs> is there any way that I would have line of sight on her from the bottom of this, from like the lower area? No. Uh, no, no. She's. She's, uh, she's. Okay. When she, well, when the she's, flame is there. Is it light enough to see it, or does that make it worse? It, it's. It's. N- yeah, it's it's not a matter of light; it's a matter of uh, the particles blocking your vision. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Actually, she's just going to. If I remember correctly, I used my invisibility last. Uh, last. Like. I seem to remember that last yeah. time, right? Okay. Yep. She can't really do anything then. Um. Uh, yeah, I think the safest thing for her to do is just put herself between, um, or put the fire between herself and the monster, and sort of hunker down. Right. And return there. Good luck, Helga. I. <laughs> Helga. Um.
Helga yells and it just goes ah and she comes at her with her two axes and just yeah just, yeah. just goes for it um this is your last round of holy weapon believe it or well it, I, I i'll just give it to you i maybe should have counted it uh i should have been more careful we got to figure out a better way of tracking these turn timers um but yeah Make your attack roll, and we'll add a plus one bonus to it. Ah, I don't like it. That's a miss. I will use Sir Snurf's last luck token for that. Very well. Okay, come on, Helga. Damn it, Helga! Uh, e channeling all your inner reserves oh. and, and, and the power of friendship... Even the power of friendship doesn't allow you to, uh, to for your hand axes to make purchase. What about In the fact, heart of the cards? <laughs> don't have enough luck tokens for the heart of the cards. No. Um. So, uh, you, uh, Sir Schnurf is out of luck tokens, and you are out of duration on your holy weapon spell. Dang it, Maeve. Okay. Um. So, Maeve... Um, Maeve just gonna let loose another another long bear. She can't really reposition herself without provoking an attack from the giant, so... There aren't any yeah. opportunity attack, attacks of opportunity. Oh, there aren't. Okay. Uh, so then, in that case, is it possible for Maeve to move... Let's see, one... Well, mm, can she move around the giant, or is there not enough space on the... Uh, like, if she wanted to move, um... I'll tell you like what. here. I'll tell you what. If that space was full, mm -hmm. I would let you do it without a problem. That space is not full. I will allow you to try to shimmy and balance across it. <laughs> this will require a dexterity check, or else, if you fail, you will get bumped off the cliff. However, as a fighter with dexterity-based grit, you will have advantage yeah. on this check. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to do that. Great. Let's do it. Uh, I need you to make a DC 12 dexterity check, please. Okay. With advantage, you said? Yes, sir. Uh, Maeve. Maeve! Good. Nice. Maeve show. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have to explain that Maeve show reference. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't. All right. Uh, with uh, with the power of God and anime, you um, <laughs> you uh, your your you move with uh, with uh, with light feet that only an elf could accomplish. You dart past uh, uh, Freya Blackwood <laughs> and get onto her other side. Uh, that was well done. What do you do? Um, well, I was, I was gonna, is it possible to be here so that, well, actually, I don't want to be, do I get disadvantage on ranged attacks if I'm directly adjacent to her? Well, what do you think would make more sense? I don't think the rule book says that, but, uh, but we're working, we're trying to make sense for what works in the fiction for us. Um, well, I'm going to say, I, I mean, I don't know, I, I think in, in this particular instance, maybe, since uh, she is not really engaged with her face-to-face, -face, uh, like in combat, um, it yep. wouldn't provoke disadvantage, but I think if, you know, she were to be looking at, at her opponent, and her opponent is, you know, attacking her with a melee weapon or something, then that would make sense. Yeah. I think she's got two heavies on this side of her, um, mm -hmm. and uh, she it's not like she has uh, uh, the facing to sort of screw you over by trying to shoot at her. Um, right. So, yeah, uh, in the particularity of this situation, you can roll flat for your boat attack. All right. Come on. Yeah! Oh, another crit. Nice. God damn, Make guys. that damage. 25. I don't know. I don't know if doesn't matter, but okay. Um, damage. Ooh. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Nice. Okay, so we are now down to, I think, that's 11. That was very well done. We're at five. Not to be taken down by a bunch of chumps before they before she even had the chance to do <laughs> anything. Helga witnessed Maeve and what she just did, and I think Ma Ma uh, Helga might have a crush now. That was really <laughs> badass. <laughs> uh, she lashes out with two claw attacks. That makes sense. <laughs> the first attack is against Sir Schnurf. No! 18 versus your armor. Um, uh, yeah, that's a hit. I'm a 14. Come on now. Uh-oh. But he does have a high AC, sir. So, or not AC, sorry. Uh, HP. HP. Sir Schnurf takes 7 <sighs> damage from her claws. Oh! <sighs> Damn. He's at one, guys. Alright. Still I'll go ahead. I'll me. go ahead and account for that on the sheet. Yep. Oh, she, he is totally going to kick wow. her and, ass in a second. Uh, she lashes around to the backstabbing Maeve and slashes yep. at her as well. Oh, no. <gasps> Seven versus armor. Oh, oh this is not it. <laughs> uh, uh, nimbly Maeve, dodges. Having seen uh, the hulking giantess uh, turn around to slash at you, uh, you were able to read her moves and you dodge. Borwas. Good job. Well, looks like some healing needs to be done. Borwas uh, would need to climb up to Sir Schnurf, and uh, if he succeeds, he would like to attempt to heal if that is okay. Strength check, wounds. please. Of course, of course. Strength check on the Borwas. Does he not have ranged healing spells? He has to touch search nerf. Pretty sure he does, yeah. Y he does. Uh, you um, you climb up. That's not a problem. Are we allowed to do cure wounds on search nerf? You can. Yay, please. Fantastic. Oh, never mind. What? Uh, a uh -huh. new day has not happened. He does not have that yeah. spell. Oh no! Can I do Wait, medicine? Would that be allowed? That... Would that give a little bit of healing, or is that not? Uh, uh, so uh, your ability to apply non-magical healing techniques is mainly only good for someone who is dying. Okay, fair enough. So because That's he didn't realize he couldn't heal search nerf, can he retcon climbing all the way up there to do that? Only if you want to, Nate. Uh, yeah. If you want to cast a different spell, that would be completely appropriate as well. Well, the only other spell I can really cast would be um, Holy Weapon, and I still need to touch a weapon. And so you I'm could very... probably mm -hmm. going to do that, yeah. All right. Uh, make your spell casting uh, check for Holy Weapon, then. Holy Weapon. 21. Holy shit. Very good. You reach up and touch Sir Schnurf's great... I'm presuming Sir yeah. Schnurf's? Yeah. It's hot. Careful. Uh, you reach up and touch the hilt of the blade, which is well out of the fire, but you can <laughs> tell that he has some cunning fighting technique that he is about to do. You enchant it with uh, the power of the blood. Oh, this is going to be great. I really Five. hope he, he does not miss. Five rounds on the holy weapon. Terran's turn now as well. Oh, Terran can finish him off. Hmm. I just forget if Terran's already climbed up or not. I don't. He has not. Yeah, I didn't think so. So Terran will climb There's up. Not a whole lot more room up there. No, that's true. Make a strength check for Terran. Will do. Uh, but you'll have disadvantage because you are dizzy. Dizzy. Ah. Uh. Dizzy boy. Uh, but you have a. Hmm? Vantage and stuff like that is part of your purview, so roll it flat, your strength check. Okay, well, it's already done at disadvantage, so um, I'll try it. So, again. yep. Wow, that's awful. <laughs> uh, uh, Terran, in the confu in the chaos of it all, and the and his uh, in his dizziness, he just can't find his footing. This is just a bit overwhelming. Uh. 
He has the skill to do it, it's just not working. Good luck, guys. Sir Schnurf. All right, Sir Schnurf. You have just been... You're, uh, the deadly claws of this foul witch has uh, dug into your chest despite the uh, protective properties of your armor. Your great sword is still in the fire, and it is ensorcelled with the power of the blood. What will you do? I will attack with my great sword. Do I get the advantage on that? that uh, no. You get plus one on the damage. You will have advantage. Oh, so plus one on attack and damage, and if you <coughs> hit, you will have advantage on the damage. Okay. Here we go, guys. Come on, nerf. Damn it. No, that's a miss. Come on. Uh, does anybody have a, a luck token? Yes, hang on. Fresh out. Hang on. Four of us first. Oh! Wait, why is it... I didn't... Did I use search nerfs? It's yes. still there. Yes, yeah. uh, you did use search nerfs. So it should not be there, but if Borwas is spending, you can make an attack again. Borwas will use his last one, yes. <gasps> Come on, come on, come on, you, come on! You feel the power of Borwas's faith uh, uh, as you swing. Ah! That's a hit. Yes! Uh, roll your greatsword damage twice and take the better result. Good. You deal a mighty 11 points to Freya Blackwood. <laughs> Utterly... Ah! Wow. Uh, reaching up and utterly decapitating her. <laughs> sure, Schnurf, I told you, war hero, war hero. Good. With uh, with Yay. the with the hulking giantess uh, slain, the fungal spores immediately begin to disappear. Yeah. We're getting paid. We're getting make that money. Uh, before y'all head out, uh, you happen to notice that there is indeed a chest here. Ooh. Uh, notwithstanding whatever business might be going on on uh, the decapitated corpse of Freya Blackwood. Well, obviously we're gonna, um, we're gonna loot that body and open that chest, aren't we? Loot that body. All right, yeah. Top of, the, that body. top of the round, y'all start to loot that body. I start to loot that body, Helga. And loot that chest. Let me just go ahead and resolve this for y'all fairly quickly. I can't remember. Was Maeve actually hit? I don't think so. No. We re-rolled no. it, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it's yeah, all Ma Maeve, No, Maeve, you didn't get it on the first time. Okay, cool. Just checking. Um, Helga will go and look in the treasure chest. All right. Um, she'll go and... Uh, this treasure chest is uh, trekked. Um, make a dexterity <laughs> check. Trekked? What? It's trekked. Make a dexterity check. Or do you want Taryn to do it? Doesn't oh, no. matter. Because he's a thief boy. All right. Oh. So, uh, this was a really cunning trap. Uh, uh, n uh, without having disarmed it, needles shoot out uh, from the uh, in or spring out from the inside of the chest, piercing Helga's uh, arms and wrists. <clears throat> Should have let me do it. Um, this is why we takes, just go. She Ooh. takes six points of damage. Oh. What? Well, the good news just is we can sta we can stabilize you. Yeah. But yeah, Suck. maybe maybe when we hear traps, we let we let the thief handle. Look, I traps. saw box. Box might have money in it. Yes, but well, we, right. we should we should discuss it. You can't things. tell the pirate not to get the treasure chest. All right. Uh, so uh, so the chest maybe. is open, but Helga is unconscious and dying. Please make a. Borvos uh, <laughs> will um will stabilize. After okay. all of that. All right. So uh, intelligence, isn't it? Uh, yes. Uh, Helga, roll a d4 to see how many turns you got to live. Ooh, god. Intelligence. Not Borwas' strong suit, but, uh, we did get a 12, though. Is that good enough? Oh, god. Not good enough. Damn it. What? We like a 15, uh, don't we? Um... Good. This is uh, bad, guys. Helga has two rounds to live. Um... 
I will spend a luck token of Terrans to uh, re-roll that. Reroll okay. four osses? Well, yeah, yeah, unless so, we have a better intelligence person to... So I will go ahead and say that uh, in a worst case situation, Helga does have a healing potion on her person. Someone could whip that out and uh, shove it down her throat. Uh, I regret my phrasing. Um, uh, uh, in order to save her life. Who wants okay. to shove it down her throat? Maeve. <laughs> All right then. I think I'll go Probably once. I think I'll go once. Maeve, too. <laughs> Maeve is not super interested, but maybe. <laughs> Somebody. <somebody's laughs> I love how there was a maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> a good old college try. Um, <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we. Uh, I guess we use that health potion. It's either that yeah. or right. potentially so, lose so, another roll, right? So who is mm -hmm. using the health potion? Uh, so Taryn, I imagine, is I still. Flailing down here. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, so, good. Yeah. so somebody else. Somebody else. Uh, um, Helga's. Helga. Well, it's in Helga. Hel Helga, Helga can't do it. She's the one. Hel down. He's dead. <laughs> Helga is dying, not dead. There's a difference. slight difference. <laughs> On death. So, uh, search nerf will help her. So, Gwen, uh, I'm hearing Gwen volunteering. Oh, Gwen. Yeah, uh, Gwen is going to move over and, yeah, find the health potion that she somehow knew about. Uh huh. Um, and yeah, give it to Helga. Sure, these things were probably disclosed. Um, okay. I thought I was gonna lose. That's like that's like how we talk to Helga. each other, right? We just show off our inventories and you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> and our muscles. Proper, proper it's etiquette like, for when we meet for the first time. We share our skills, right. our inventories. You know. Yeah, it's just all that good we do. stuff. Uh, I clicked potion of invisibility. That's not the right one. Great. Now um, she's invisible and dying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, healing potion. Worse. <laughs> so we're going to delete this healing potion because uh, it is done for. It is it's no longer on your sheet, okay. and um and roll that d6 for healing. Come on, yes. Ooh. All, right, All health. Helga she's re like on the ground dying, and then she's like, <gasps> "Wow, right. that was a bad that was a bad chest. <laughs> don't don't open the chest." Uh. You also need to make a, uh, well, mm, no, you've already got that infection going on, so never mind. Uh, the, the, spoiler alert, the, uh, the spines were also infected with rat disease, but you're already <laughs> infected with rat disease. Yeah, yeah you can't cool. get it again. Uh, you can't get it again. Uh, so, <laughs> so you've gotten uh, it once, you can, yeah. Oh, well, you works. have an active infection already, having another, <laughs> uh, exposure isn't going to do you any worse. Yeah, you don't get a double um, infection, right? Uh, well, then I'm you, glad you that I was the one to open it. Then you do have a progressing infection, though. Let's be perfectly. Clear. <laughs> How does that work well, exactly? Uh, I'm happy to go into details about it. Uh, <laughs> okay, because my howler wants to know. We've got somebody in the chat who's like, "What is rat disease?" <laughs> <laughs> rat disease is pretty bad, just FYI. But we're gonna sort through it when we're out of the dungeon. It doesn't it doesn't sound great. Um, All right. So oh, um, um, that is. That is not a goblin. That is a giant um, uh, druid that we just killed. Yeah, but she's an ugly uh, one. Yeah. Uh, yep. Uh, and she was a beloved druid of the giants, but she has become oh. corrupted by the forces of darkness that lie deep within the bowels of the earth. Um, don't do drugs, uh, kids. Don't say. Don't, don't. She was down there <laughs> doing mushrooms. That's why uh, she lost the fight. <laughs> she was doing drugs. Yep. Yeah, she she did she did lose the fight because of drugs. So <laughs> FYI. Um so uh who's checking out the treasure chest? Guess Helga. Gwen's right there. <laughs> like Helga really wants to, but Gwen just kinda looks over at Helga and shakes her head. Um ah. <laughs> and uh point. she would like to is it locked? Uh no. Um uh uh, it was only trapped. Um, okay. And the trap's set off, so that's fine. <laughs> and the trap's been set off, so yeah, uh, she'll just open it. Great. Uh, you find the following contents uh, in the chest. Ooh. Nine rations, a silk pillow, two lustrous pearls, a, a, and a scroll, a spell scroll of floating disc. Oh, that's helpful. That is helpful. I was going to say Harvester could eat it and learn it, but he's already got floating disc. <laughs> he's also not in our party. Yeah. Uh, 
perhaps you could trade it out for a spell of comparable value once you are back in town, or you could sell it. Um, so, uh, what? Who picks up what? Uh, we get forty gold pieces each, right? No, uh, well, no, it's two lustrous you, pearls that yeah, are worth which are worth forty. 40. Oh, yeah. no. I see. Uh, so and a silk pillow worth ten. So also, I need to just uh, I forgot to uh, so that inc- so y'all find uh, that loot as well. Um, a loot. Mm-hmm. No loot is a uh, little little guitar. Yeah. Not a not a flute. Oh. A loot. Oh, I thought you said flute. No, no loot. Oh, Elsa. Oh, baby, I'm You're sorry. Okay. Do, 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 I just. I rolled the chair Scary wheel cat. over her tail. Oh, baby, I'm Ooh. sorry. Come here. I'm sorry, baby. It's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Um. So. Um. So. Uh. So let's. Uh. So I'm going to ask someone to volunteer to put. So. Let me just go by this. Uh. Let's go backwards. Who's taking the spell scroll? It will take up one inventory slot. Four walls. Okay. Alright, four walls to add that spell scroll of uh of floating disc to your inventory, please. No deal. Got it. Elsa. Alright. Okay. Good. Now. Uh the two lustrous pearls. Who will take uh them? Taryn will uh, bear the burden. What a shame. Good. Um, and uh, might as well take that silk pillow. Now, the pillow and the pearls do not take up inventory. Those are on your free to carry. Ooh. Good. good. And does anyone what a want rough time. Any, and does anyone want any of the remaining rations? Uh, I think my guys have still got their rations, but... I think... Uh, is that is that uh Taryn does not have rations. The the Swagin down Yeah, the Swagin Yeah, the Swagin Yeah, the looking around, yeah. Can 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 we can Gwen grab all the rations and bring them down to the Swagin and give give them the Swagin as a gesture sweet. of friendship to, to Swagin. Yeah, make a make a charisma check. Oh no. Um, <laughs> He's just gonna like throw the food in his face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> drops it into the in. water. <laughs> it would like our people are now enemies. Oh, yay! Actually. Can we keep him as a pet? Uh, uh, Sloshua is reasonably impressed by the generosity of Gwen's gesture. Yay! Um, says, we, we'd like to we'd like to offer these uh, to you and your tribe as a. Uh, you know, a little bit of a gesture of friendship, uh, hoping we can, you know, pass through these tunnels uh, freely and, and, you know, have some friends down here. He says, not my tunnels. Um, okay. He says, well. but thank you for land people food. Um, they will, it, uh, won't okay. save, uh, won't save uh, going in water, but may be useful while we find depths. Thank Yes, fine, fine depths, fine depths. He says, "Yeah, I put it in storage uh, on the <laughs> cliff for us." Thank. Yes, okay. you do. That. Well, welcome, welcome, Zawagan, Flashua. Good. Good idea. All right. So, um, so uh, I think that concludes all your business down here. Did Let's... we not? Did we? What? That was what was in the chest. What about um, looting? Yeah, we didn't loot. We didn't loot the giant. Freya 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 has uh, uh, dingy robes, a staff that seems like a a, of gnarled oak wood, um, and uh, and she also has a book of dark magic. It seems uh, it it's it's not. It's in the giant language. It's which is I don't believe is a language any of y'all know how to read. Is it worth anything? Nope. It very well could be, but you'll need to get it appraised. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll do that. Search so careful, some, have it. someone add um, uh, book of giant book of giant 
giant book of dark magic. There's no uh, it a trick book. Uh, it uh, it will take up one inventory slot, and uh, whoever wants it can put it in their uh, inventory. Sir, Babe, Sheriff, Babe, got it's it. a giant book. Okay. All right. Pick one. Good. So I think that resolves all our business in this dungeon, doesn't it? I believe yeah, so. Yeah, kind of done party. Oh. All right. Yay. So that's the best part. <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, let me say that y'all. That means that y'all are about to go uh, and get your party on back at the uh, Black Rack Tavern. Um, Black oh, Rack. I have a question. Do we chat really oh. quick? So the rat disease just kills a player on low health. How does that work exactly? Uh, I'm about to deal with all of that, but I'm mm. going to ask that we have a quick bio break. Then we can get uh, our party on for our last. Yeah, time. this is the fu- this is the fun part. Stuart, have you ever done the the uh, bar I hopping I part? Haven't, I haven't done any carousing uh, on on this on this campaign. No. All right. Um, uh, oh, have you done it before in the other one? Yeah, we we do carousing. I can't remember there. who was yeah. who was there that night. Great. Yeah. So we'll do carousing and we'll deal with everyone's uh, medical dysfunctions uh, as well. Um, <laughs> you can't cure uh, more loss okay. of erectile dysfunction. No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, with that uh, one, in the in the meantime, uh, that's why I took up blood magic. See if he can do anything with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! It did not blood work. Magic. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. And with that, I'm going to want to take a bio break and I'll be right back, y'all. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Elsa's yeah. really mad at me. You yeah. Can see her just staring oh, at me. Oh, and right? we can remove the torch timer whenever we like. Oh, it's off. Don't oh. worry. <laughs> Elsa, I'm sorry. Dude, I'm going to go get some water then. Come here. <sighs> Come here. <clears throat> it's okay, baby. She really, she's really upset. Uh, all right, chat, what's up? <sighs> okay. <sighs> Oh, 
Hi friends in the chat, how are y'all doing today? I hope your day is going even remotely as good as mine. Ah, but I have things to tell y'all about, including rat disease. Giant rat disease is on page 254. Yeah, giant rat disease is pretty bad, to be honest. Um, oh, can I... Oh. Rat? Q-R... Maybe it was 45. All right, giant rat disease. Okay. Mm. So, giant rat disease for anyone who is still here and was listening is this. It's pretty bad. Uh, it's a disease. You have to make a con uh, check to avoid it, and if you succumb to it. Uh, or rather, if you are subject to it, you lose points of your constitution score. Both Drony and Helga were subject to it. So let's see. Uh, let me see how they are marked up on the other map. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
what I miss? I'm just talking through giant rat disease. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it doesn't look doesn't look great. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah. Oh well, I'm the one who has it. What 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 do I need to know? All right. Are so, you at zero constitution? Because oh. <laughs> you will die. <laughs> zero constitution. Uh... She's not. Don't worry. She's not nearly. Um, but. I'm a... <clears throat> but I believe both she and Droni have giant rat disease. Or at least. Alright, so. Droni's medical situation is pretty bad. He has both giant rat disease and infected root wounds. So does Helga. It will take 30 gold pieces uh, each in order to receive proper medical care. Fuck. Now, right. for Terran, he has... Uh, uh, Terran has um, fungal seed uh, in his stomach. <laughs> He needs, he needs to receive a cure wound spell, or else it will advance. But if you nip it in the bud right now, it'll be fine. That will cost you 15 gold. It's not bad. So, okay, so first, we need a total of 75 gold. Yep. Um, so, well, um, Aaron will probably pay for his 15. I mean, that's fair enough. Mm -hmm. So, subtract so that 15 and tell me when you have. Will do. Do, do. Let's see. 26. There we go. Okay. He has paid for it. <clears throat> Wonderful. Um, I don't have enough. I only have 24 with Helga and 6 for Shirsh Nerf. Uh-huh. Wow, you need money, huh? Mm-hmm. That's okay. We're about to deal with that. So... Um, Terran is able to immediately seek medical aid from the halflings of House Jurosco. They they are the um, uh, consummate medical specialists. Uh, some say that the halflings of House Jurosco Gir and their dragon mark of healing make them even better healers than priests. Mm -hmm. uh, this reputation is something that priests don't really like that much about the Jurosco halflings. Um... Indeed, the halflings tend to be a little bit more interested in the f big pharma and big medicine applications of uh, their power than they are about necessarily the public good, though there are good-hearted halflings. Um, so anyway, you receive the Cure Wounds spell from the Jurosco halfling, and indeed, your fungal seed within the pit of your stomach disappears. Completely oh, destroyed. Fungal seed. Now. It sounds bad. It is. It's it's as bad as it sounds, or worse. Now, um, so first things first, I would like y'all to look at what loot you have that has a gold piece value, and go ahead and sell that. Um, you can sell it at the exact value uh, of it, and just convert that straight into real coinage. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, I don't have anything really. <laughs> That's okay. I'm broke, and I don't even have things to sell. Well, it's oh, okay. I've got Taren. the Dime Book of Dark Magic. T Taren has the stuff to sell, so. Can I go and get this Book of Giant, bu giant Book of Dark Magic appraised? Appraised. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I do so. <laughs> um... You're going to be able to sell it for um, one second. It is a giant book. A big book. You're going to be able to sell it for 60 gold if you so choose. Let's do it. Alright. And that, plus the fact that uh, that um, that Dagna of the Death's Gate Guild has orchestrated a uh, receiving your payment she tells you you know the storm lords aren't uh, are, are sort of uh they're of a, they're not of one mind on the matter of how you resolve this issue on the one hand your efforts caused sewage to spew out 
in the Warrens. I'm eating, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> and the oh, we've been, we've spewed <laughs> sewage everywhere, as far as I remember. Mm, oh, you did it on both. To spew yeah. out in both the Warrens and <laughs> on Market Street. Yep. Now, right. yep. now, you got some folks a little messed up about it, but the guy who said that he was going to, the Stormlord who said he was going to pay to have this done, came through. Now, after our finder's fee and your uh, and your guild dues, that means the total payment for your group comes out to 300 gold. Woo! Nice. Now, Good enough for um, me. So, uh, so does that mean each of your characters want to take, each of your present characters want to take 50 gold? Well, aren't we about to go carousing? Well, sure, but you need to have an accurate gold, yeah. gold total uh, before you do. Yes. I think that Some makes sense. my characters have no but gold. To go carousing, we have to pool our money anyway. That's true. No, Are well, we spend, yeah, we spend money for carousing, right? Yeah. That's right. So, why don't we make sure... Why don't we make sure that everyone's getting their due payout before we uh, burn that entire pile on uh, booze? Yeah, because okay. I've also got the silk pillow and the two lustrous pearls to sell. That's 90 and, gold pieces, I think, in total. Yeah, feel free to add that. So you want to div yeah. divvy up 300 six ways? Yeah. There's, okay. 50 for, there's 50 for each of your characters who fought against Freya. Yeah. All right. And then we got an extra 90 on top if we have those things sold. Mm -hmm. Nice. Which that's six ways. No, I don't think I don't think anyone else has split their treasure six ways, have they? Uh, what? That uh, doesn't sound so, like they've split the book six ways. No. So why don't well, you just... I, I used it to because we were going to pool our money to kill oh, to fix you guys. Oh, no, that's that's fair enough. That's so, fair enough. so I just okay. kind of did it all. In which at case, the same time. that's oh. an extra fifteen gold each, so sixty-five each at the moment. <clears throat> so, um, so you uh, spent that sixty gold on uh, healing, is that right? Yes. Great. That was how that so, happened. The halflings also were willing to pay their medical attention to Helga and Droni. They cured you of your um sewer born uh uh illnesses that might have been uh conveyed to you through your exposed wounds worth it and uh and they also cured you of your rat disease well that's so nice Droni and helga get to return their constitution scores to their original values and i'll help you with that uh also the hat you were able to include the uh the extra fee to keep uh to keep this halfling uh discreet about um Droney's uh species. If everyone knew that he was a Delkir half blood, well, not everyone would be quite open minded to that. But I have returned his con to his full nest. Um Josh, did we send did we get any experience for the treasure? Did that count as treasure? <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm about to share with y'all your scorecard uh, for this dungeon. Which oh, one we get a scorecard. Yep. Okay. Yep. Make sure, make sure you two have added sixty-five gold pieces to your characters, because that's the total. Yep, of I added that. Cool. You, you mute uh, Jenny. But yeah, because we it was initially fifty, but then sorry. with the other stuff um, I sold, that's put us up to sixty-five. Just to each. just to the people who were in the in the yeah, yeah. In yeah. Battle, we're, right? we're not including our other two. Yeah, fuck. They're them. like you know there are other characters that will well, cure his rat swap disease, or but do whatever the fuck money. with them. Don't matter. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, so, University. University, welcome, buddy. So. Uh, Helga and Droni have been cured of both their rat disease and their sewer-borne illness, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and Taryn has been, uh, cured of his fungal seed. Uh, that should do it for y'all in terms of that. Now, Sounds now. so bad, doesn't it, Nathan? <laughs> um, let me, uh, uh, how yes. How did Droni get the rat disease again? He got bit by a giant rat. He was in the sewers, remember? Before? But 
Remember? He, he was prevailed but... upon by rats. We first all went in the sewers before we, we had Maeve and Gwen join the party. And Journey got, Journey got bit. I couldn't remember if that was also sewers. It was, it was... Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Sure. So let me show you guys your scorecard. You Hi, everybody in the chat. So, so you, you all did so much better this time than yes, you did, did last time. Out of the all the loot that you can find, you found seven out of nine drops out of hey. the consumable. You found half of the consumables. Uh, actually, you know, come to think of it, there were probably like you know, six, but uh. Oh, well, we'll call it three. Um, uh, because one was another variety that had multiple instances. If you had harvested the hearts of uh, uh, the fun the fully ripe fungal spores from inside the infected creatures, you would have been able to use those as little bombs. Uh, alas. Huh. Now, you found all the hidden doors. You found two out of the three magic items. Uh, oh, NPC interactions. Y'all uh, actually had three NPC interactions. Uh, so that's rather nice. You had no character deaths. You had... Um, uh, good. And uh, and that means that y'all got a total of... Is that right? So seven... Uh, so really... Really, your XP total should be... 12. 4,000. Uh, so, y'all got 12 experience points, which will put yeah! you up. And we're not doing the shave off the extra. We're going to put you at level 2 with 2 experience points towards your new goal of 20. Uh, and so, with your grade, what do y'all think your grade should be on this, with all these numbers? A 7. Mm, well, no, it's a two. <laughs> Like an A. <laughs> Is this like a letter grade or a, yeah, a letter grade? grade? A letter grade with pluses what's, and minuses. What's what's that? What's the highest, and then what's the lowest? Just so I kind of mentally. So, uh, F would be the lowest. Mm, makes sense. Um, uh, uh, triple S would be for absolutely <laughs> mind-bogglingly uh, and numbingly perfect, and that's pretty much not something we're shooting for. Yeah. The most the most realistic highest grade would be A plus. Okay. Um, I, you know, in my I feel, opinion, I'm feeling I'm, B plus or A minus kind of too. Feeling, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm feeling A, A mind. I'm feeling A minus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One uh, day we'll get an S. Well done, friend. Uh, well done. That was uh, that was really, really quite good on this adventure. You found uh, you y'all are getting good at finding hidden things. Y'all are getting good at interacting with people. Um. You're getting good at looting. Uh, you did uh, get stuck by a trap and made a couple of misplays, but overall... Oh, and there was a couple of things that y'all didn't explore fully, but overall, I think this is... Uh, uh, you know, those are minor points, uh, and all the major curriculum was addressed correctly. Well done! So, uh, and our... I will improve this XP total... Uh, by how well you, uh, how well we get on in the carousing minigame. Shall Ooh. we move on to that? Of course. Absolutely. Oh, Great. Nathan, you're going to love this. I'm excited. And then chat's going to get to see carousing. Great. <laughs> so, uh, so in Eberron, it can get pretty wild when you start to party. Um... So, and y'all are at the Black Rack Tavern, which is the best, one of the best party places in uh, the city. In fact, my map of it isn't, uh, doesn't do, uh, doesn't do the Black Rack Tavern justice. Let me pull up these uh, carousing rules, and then we can uh, get on with it. Uh, NPCs, adventures, hmm. hmm. Yes, yes. And now I could also use spell check. Do I hear something bubbling? Oh yeah, I was just She's just sending being Nathan a heart. Real adorable, I'm <laughs> You know what you know what couples are like, Josh. Don't worry about it. Sorry about that. The bubble. Oh, uh no problem. Um <laughs> Did great. not mean to dis disrupt or yeah. or Distress. Turn off uh, your extra noises. Sorry. 
Oh. Uh, none taken. I like bubbles. All right. <laughs> so, first things first, in order to start a carousing session minigame, we need to determine how much money y'all are able to put forward. Oh, also, this is important. Mm-hmm. Y'all should know that holding on to gold in this game is a bad idea. You can only carry your first 100 coins for free. Any coinage after 100, any coinage 100 and over takes up one gear slot. So you should try to, uh, you should consider gold to be an ephemeral benefit. But you can use that gold to double down on your experience point total and get a bonus for partying. So with that in mind, you have a couple of uh, uh, options, and for both Nate and for the audience, uh, to participate in the carousing minigame, it takes two steps. You throw in gold as the first step. How much gold you throw in uh, gives you a certain benefit to your carousing check. Uh, then you make your carousing check to see what happens on your total bender. Uh <laughs> And, of course, the amount of money you're willing to put down uh, determines the nature of the bender. Uh, So let me first uh, change the music to something for our carousing game. Um, uh, Really quick, I know we got 12 XP. Um, If it goes over 10, do I add that to the next thing? Like, Uh, so I be... So, uh, everyone should upgrade their character to level 2. And uh, and their uh, new XP total is two. So I'm not doing the drop off. Your uh, two will carry over to the next one. So okay. everyone should be at level two with two out of twenty XP. Yeah. Well, I already had two. So should I be at four? Like four, or just two? Uh. I'd say for simplicity's sakes, we're just all the same, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Everyone. Um, does Everyone. that include the people we weren't playing today? Uh, so yeah, playing. that's fine. Okay. But just like uh, Baldur's Gate, we'll worry about them when you use them. That's right. Uh, and, um, and you know, these XP totals are for individual totals, so we're... Uh, so whoever gets the highest XP benefit from the carousing game will share that with the entire group. Um... Uh, but your individual benefits from the carousing game will be uh, for you only. Okay. So, so mm. let me ask: uh, How much gold do y'all want to throw in? Our price points are thirty, one hundred, and three hundred, uh, and six hundred. And I don't think y'all have six hundred. So let me just okay. write these. No. Thirty do GP. Have a fair amount. Like my two guys. If I put all of their gold in, that's about 200 so we have a good starting point but my next thought is if we spend it all on carousing i might think about getting maybe borwas a different weapon for example because he's with the dagger it's not exactly the best for him because he can use others uh i'm oh. not too worried about Terran when it comes to a weapon unless there's you know unless there's something i think we should at least try 300 okay so, so then those are uh, 50 bucks. those are the price points we can throw in uh and um, you all at least, everyone who wants to carouse has to throw in at least a little. Makes Where, sense. Where, did I just hear a, hear you post something somewhere? Yeah, Where it's on I, Roll20. I, on Roll20, I oh, saw the... I'm not looking at the thing. I was looking at the characters. No. Okay. Um, and what will these price points obtain us? Or all right. Us? At 30 gold pieces, you can have a worthy night of drinking and festivity. At 100 gold pieces, you can have a full day and night of revelry, gambling, and recounting your exploits. At 300 gold pieces, you have two days of crawling to dozens of taverns to sing, buy rounds, and celebrate. At 600, it is a three-day voyage into the finest food, drink, and gambling you can find. That's awesome. I mean... Do we want to go for the I'm, 300 price point? We, we, we Where's could. the price point where you take over half the city? <laughs> um, Is that a thousand? <laughs> Did you simplify them? Is that... 
Uh, no, no, I didn't simplify them. I'm reading them straight. At uh, at twelve hundred, you take over an entire town or city district. <laughs> So at uh, at 1800, which is the highest, uh, um, it attracts countless uh, celebrants, including famous nobles and bards, and the streets <laughs> run red with wine. Uh, and it, uh, and the two, and uh, in 1800 okay. is a two week, is two legendary weeks Ooh, of drinking and debauchery, wow. uh, <laughs> widespread enough to take over a whole city. I'm debauchery. I'm so happy. <laughs> That's great. Right, what I just price really needed that wanna... to be told. What price point <laughs> like at one point, shoot? at one point, we're going to get that eighteen hundred, and we are going I think, to. I think we can hit three hundred easily. Yeah, yeah, we can do three hundred this time. I think it's good. Idea. Uh, so <clears throat> I need an amount from each of you, and for you to subtract that figure from your sheets. Okay, okay. Um. Feel well, free to type it in the roll twenty chat so that we're accounting for our numbers. Okay. Well, Boros will throw in sixty because he has over a hundred and he should definitely use some up <laughs> um uh, b b droney does, is droney a part of this uh does droney have money yeah yeah right like <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. sure sure droney could throw in i'll throw in 40 from him because that will get us a total of 100 there go ahead and um, uh go ahead and type that in the chat please yeah with their name just so we can keep track um, give me just a second. Well, if we're including the other two, then uh, Taryn might only throw in 40. There we go, because then Harvester, I'll, I'll check Harvester. Alright, so we're at 140. Oh, ooh, we're at 185. Let's go! Let's go! Alright, All right. 185. Harvester uh, will join. He will throw in. So that's 220, if I'm not mistaken. All right, 240. 85 there. How much is needed? Uh, we need uh, we need 60, 60 more gold. 60. Um. All right. Uh. I mean, I've thrown in 120 from my three. I'll do 30 from Helga and 30 from Schnurf. All right. Uh, as soon as we get that down, that should be everyone. Okay, um, and I really need to use the restroom in a second. Um, yeah. And then... Jen. What? You'll never guess who's in chat. Is it Rosie? No. It's Ashlyn! Mm-hmm. Hi, Ashlyn. Uh, it says his name is spelled wrong. That's funny. It is spelled wrong. <laughs> Ashlyn, you should you should come join us sometime. You should try D and D. But I know you're busy with the baby, so that's okay. She'd be fun to play with. I think she'd like it. I think so. She sounds great. Yeah. All right. Oh right. I'll so be right you, back. okay. Yeah. All right. Hi Ashlyn. Uh, How are you now? But we can go ahead and uh, get everyone's rolls going. Um, yeah. So, so with a total of three hundred gold, that gives you a carousing bonus of plus two. Uh, Sweet. All right. So, for each of your characters, I want uh, a roll of one d eight plus two. You got it. Ooh, Taryn first with a 10. All right. Good. So we've got, uh, we've secured in the highest uh, XP point total. And now everyone's, uh, uh, oh, yeah, you can use the as on the drop down menu. Uh, that was a good find, Stuart. Um, Four walls. So. Four. And Harvester. With a nine. Hmm. Not bad. Nice. Not bad. Wow. It's fun. That's a good for more boss, but it is what it is. A ten, a four, and a nine. I'll take it. All 
right. Jenny's here now. Great. I am Arvina. Oh. Oh, uh, and also don't, so make sure that we're, he said, so for the two folks who have three characters, make sure you roll for them too. What am I rolling? One so D8 we're rolling. plus two. That's right. right. Three of them. One D8. And plus use two. the drop down menu to delineate who you're rolling for if you have that option. That's um, uh, uh, one D8. I don't see where to make it where it's my... If you, um, right, right at the bottom below the chat box, it says as, you choose choose your person there, and then you do your roll. Mm. Do you see it in roll 20? Right I've been the using the buttons, and I can't remember how to write in... Oh, okay, I'll just copy and paste this. Okay. It's, it's, uh, slash R 1D8 plus 2. Yep. Slash R one D one D eight plus two. Mm, that's right. That's two. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um, We're all in this together. We get the highest XP thing, so. On this together. Because Taryn knocked it out the park. Good. And good, yeah, good, good, good. Too. Nice. Another time. Night. For sure. So, so what do these rolls mean? And, and Dr uh, Drony as well. If he's participating, uh, a roll. I, th I think nine, I did see nine. a result from Drony. Okay, so, uh, so, uh, some people got ten. Who got ten? Taryn and Helga. All right. What other numbers do we have? Nine and uh, six. Nine and six. One second. I need to make sure that this is on loop. All right. Nine and six. All right. Nine, uh, six. Who all got nine? Um, uh, Drony. Drony, Gwen, Gwen and uh, Harvester. All got nine. All right, and who all got six? Uh, Sir Schnurf, Uberg Nerf of Schnurn. I just really um, like his full name. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, then Gorbos got a four. Good, thank you. Sorry. And hey, Maeve got hey, seven. Maeve got seven. Good. So, uh, um, good. So, you all have a, uh, so, with 300 gold, you buy two days of crawling to dozens of taverns to sing by rounds and celebrate. Uh, uh, the results of this carousing, starting with Borwas. You, Hazily, remember donating 10% of your uh, total wealth to a very glib priest. So I need you to take uh, to reduce your total uh, gold count by ten percent for Borwas. Will do. On the other hand, on the other hand, though, you have gained a priest ally uh, or a priest. Um, yeah, a priest ally. Uh, he Ooh. is a. Um, uh, he is a. Um, he's a priest of the ch Church of the Worm Ascendant. And I'll tell you more about that later, but this is a a, a heretical uh, vision of the sovereign post-faith that is so prevalent in Corvair. And they believe that the sovereigns uh, are not what we would normally think of as gods. They said that the sovereigns became gods because they were dragons once who unlocked a secret power and ascended to godhood. And he tells you that if you donate 10% of your wealth, you can be well on your way to achieving godhood as well. This is, sounds like an MLM scheme, but uh, hey, Borwas was into <laughs> it, so... <laughs> uh, and Did I'll you tell you... Package? And uh, I will tell you more about uh, this ally at a later time. For now, we move on to Sir Schnurf. 
With a result of uh, with a result of six, a you get. Hmm, what does that word mean? One second. <laughs> So, yes, Jenny, your uh, camera is up, or uh, your microphone is a little picking up some things. I just, from... I just muted it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, in his drinking quest, Sir Schnurf encounters some representative from that Craven Thieves Guild known as the Bilge Rats. Unbeknownst to him, he pleaded his case as being someone, uh, entirely sympathetic. And you were bilked for 5% of your total wealth. <laughs> so, how much money does Sir Schnurf have? Uh, Sir Schnurf has 41 coins left. Uh, so he, hmm... 4% of that, 10% would be 4, and uh, so, yes, 2. You only have 13, you lose you 2 of your gold coins. I know, I'm not, I'm not anymore. I know, I saw a check. Um, uh, okay, thank you. Thank you for editing that for me, Josh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, uh, May, at a, at a carousing result of 7, you lead the entire tavern in a wildly insulting song about a disliked noble. Sir Schnurf of Merton. Great. Uh, 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 it, yeah. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps Schnurf, this was... Coincidentally. Uh, one of the local bards was so impressed with you that uh, they introduced themselves to you and y'all became friends. You now have a famous bard ally. Ooh. Wait, Sir Schnurf does, or, um... No, not Sir Schnurf. Maeve. No, no. I Sir Schnurf was the subject of the, uh... The song. No. Of the song. Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Which now the, the bard will copyright and probably, you know, put out publicly. Yeah. Make an LP. That's, that's before he, uh... Uh... And that's before he uh, puts it through a generative AI and uh, <laughs> steals all the work of everyone else. Um, uh, all for the benefit of some faceless corporation. Um, anyway. So. Uh, so, that happened. Next. Drony, Gwen, and Harvester. You each had a result of nine. Nine. Yes. By either talent or trickery, you beat a rival crawler in a test of skill. Uh, so I want each of you to uh, I want each of you to roll one d one hundred for a percentile. Oh, okay. Harvester has a 26. Drony. No. R slash this. Why didn't it work? That's not the right roll, anyway. <laughs> oh, I thought I was rolling what he rolled. <laughs> no, oh, you I was looking at the wrong D, thing. D100. Rolling okay. D100. Okay, okay. Um. Good. So, Harvester uses his skill to win a test of skill and Drony and Gwen use their deception to win this test of skill. Are we doing knife throwing again or what? Knife throwing? Good do. Yeah. A knife throwing contest, you know, like where you both put like a I don't An know apple on the head. An apple. On uh huh. Head. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's the one. Oh. That's the one. Well, in this case so. it's probably a bag of coins, right? Ooh, okay. ooh, or it could be something like: Do y'all, did y'all ever see the first episode of the Yu or read the first uh, chapter of the Yu-Gi-Oh manga where they're they're doing like a 
stabby of the hand, but they're trying to stab through a stack of bills. And so the <laughs> harder you stab, the more bills you get, oh, but the okay. more likely you are to fucking, like, stab your hand all the way through. <laughs> wow. That's yeah. great. Okay. That sounds great. Yu-Gi-Oh! Season Zero, or uh, as it's called, as the anime is called, or uh, or just the original manga arc is really good. It's um, terrifying. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, uh, also, Yugi set someone on fire in the uh, in the uh, fast food restaurant where Teo used to work. Mm-hmm. That wasn't in the show. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Finger guns uh, were in the show. Yeah. <laughs> You're coming with us. <laughs> so, uh, so, something That's like that. Oh. Uh, uh, so I need, I need both of y'all to roll this percentile again to figure out whether y'all have enemies, uh, whether you win an ally or an enemy. Need all of us to do that, or just? Uh, just uh, uh, all uh, Gwen, Drony, and Harvester. Okay. So, Drony has won a ally. Gwen has won an ally. Harvester has won an enemy. <laughs> yeah, the way he likes it. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't know who uh, you offended, but uh, but we're gonna figure out uh, we're gonna fig or or impressed as the case might be, uh, but we're gonna figure that out in a little bit. Now, final round: Terran and Helga, with a result of ten. Uh, at the result of ten, you have offended an angry wizard. No doubt. Um, no doubt you uh, were. Uh, I don't. I, uh, no doubt this angry wizard was uh, is a wizard for the Twelves, one of the most powerful dragon marked mages in the land. When uh, during during the course of your carousing, the angry wizard cast a deadly spell at both of you. However, you reflected it off with your cup. Besides a high XP bonus, each Terran and Helga both gain a luck token. So, Sweet. let's go ahead and prepare your luck tokens for next session. Gwen gets one. Maeve gets one. Terran gets one. Except Terran was one of these, right? Yes, Terran has two. Uh, Sir Schnerf now has one. Helga has two. Oh, wait, hmm, but Helga had used it, so yes. And so, Harvester, one. Droni and Borwas should each have one now as well. Good. Alrighty. And, uh, and friends, let me tell you that uh, your bonus for this carousing minigame is Damn five it. experience points. Mm -hmm. I was just telling Jenny she's muted. I wasn't talking. You, you were at one point, but it's okay. No. <gasps> All right. So, going back to your scorecard, mm -hmm. you have 12 plus 5 experience points. So, everyone's experience points should be, you should be level 2 with 7 experience points. Wow. Congratulations, everyone, on your dinging. Yay! I figure we can level up characters, uh, or I can level up your characters uh, at a later time. I don't think y'all have many impressive choices to deal with. Actually, let's mm. let's do go ahead and roll everyone's new hit points. That's a good. Uh, idea. Every, everyone will need to increase their hit points. So, um, for each of your characters, we'll need to do something. Uh, Drony, Harvester, and actually several people will need to roll d4. So let's just do it one at a time. Who wants to go first? Drony, apparently. <laughs> Good. Four. Good. Increase Drony's max hit points by four. Okay. Uh, 
There's just so much going on. I'm having to go back and forth between each of these pages because I can't click on my character on the It's page. okay. I uh, I actually have taken care of it for you. Thank you. So, um, uh, so who's next? Uh, Barbister. Great, go for it. Roll a d4 for hit points. Three. Fabulous. Uh, I'll go ahead and add that now. All right, so who's next? Gwen or Maeve? Um, Gwen does, uh, sure. What did, did Gwen roll a d6? Gwen rolls a d4. A d4, okay. Yep. Um, minus one, so that should be good. Oh. Uh, don't don't include your con penalty. Just roll oh. your flat. Okay. All right. Two. All right. So I'll go ahead and increase her hit points by two. So she is now five. Really? Good. Next. Who's next? Uh, Borwas will go next. Good. I think priests get a d6 if I'm not mistaken. Maybe, in which case I rolled the wrong one. Priest, get a d6. Yeah, we'll do a d6. Or was now. Still three. Don't know why it went twice, but there we go. All right, good. So, so three to his hit points. Yeah. Congratulations, Borwas has significantly more hit points. <laughs> yeah. So that's a total of four hit points now. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, good. Sure, All right. You go for it. I believe Schnurf gets a D8 for hit points. Nice. Plus All right. Four. And then double digits. Helga, what does Helga do? I believe four Helga three. also gets a D8 for hit points. Uh, wait, also so four. Schnurf got four hit points? Is that right? Yep. That's right. They're both four. Both of them got four. Good. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah. So, Helga now has 10, and Sir Schnurf now has 12. Beautiful. And then it's uh, uh, Maeve or Terran left. Let's do Maeve next, huh? Yeah, Maeve, is Maeve also a D8? Yeah, Maeve also is a D8. We need oh. to explain Maeve show now. Ooh. Maeve show. Oh, yeah, the Maeve. Oh. Uh, all right, so that's uh, two for her hit points. Uh, sorry about that one, Stu. But your yeah, hit points, your, your hit points are still comparable. You have a nine hit points for her, yeah. for Maeve. All right, let's do Terran's D four. D four for Terran. Three. Good. Three. That's a a, a a good roll. Yeah, yeah. So that's seven hit points. Good. All righty. Okay. So, um, for everyone else's, everyone will have a vaguely consistent, uh, growth, uh, that you don't roll for a new talent. Most of the time, characters' benefits, uh, will increase by half their level normally, so that means that you get that accrued benefit at two. Um, ah, we could talk about that now, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and see what we can resolve. So, I will tell you that the spellcasters will need to choose more spells. So that includes uh, Harvester and Borwas. Um, so, uh, Fighters. Fighters, um, you gain plus one to damage. Uh, ah, your Weapon Mastery bonus increases. So, uh, so that would be for uh, Maeve and uh, Sir Schnurf. So, your weapon mastery. So, uh, I will configure the two plus two. All right. So, I uh, fixed that for Sir Schnurf, and I'm going to fix that for Maeve. Good. So, uh, the fighters received um, weapon mastery bonus. All right, priest, uh, you will choose one more first tier spell. Sweet. 
uh, the thieves will get plus one uh, damage dice for backstab. Ooh. Go Terran when he can backstab. Um, so, uh, we don't need to configure that into anything. Um, wizards. Wizards will obtain one more uh, tier four, a uh, tier one spell. So, we'll just have to think about that. Wait, was that all four classes? Priest, Fighter, Wizard, Thief. And now we have one more, which is... Uh, oh, two more classes, which are um, Hex Slinger and uh, Soul Blade. Soul Knight. Uh, let me pull up those documents right quick. All right, so for so this is interesting. So, um, so for the soul knife, I'll go ahead and tell you this. Uh, at every even level, the side blade improves. You can either increase its damage die by one size or add a property to it from the property table. Which would you like to do, Stuart? Um, I think I'll increase the damage die. I think that's a. Uh, I think that is the natural choice. So I'll go ahead and uh, improve that for you. Good. So your side blade now deals one d six damage. It is on. Nice. It's actually at this point. It is now better than a short sword since you can throw it. Yeah. Good. Um. And drony. Uh. At each level, your damage of eldritch fist increases by plus one. So I'll go ahead and include that in Droney's sheet. Eldritch Fist. Uh, bonus plus one. Good. All right. And I think... So, uh, Nathan, uh, we can candle... Uh, do you want to choose your... Uh, declare your spells now, or should we work on that later? Um, we can do them now. What are the, what are the options? All righty. So, hmm. Because it's like a have... wizard and a priest, isn't it? Yes. Uh, regrettably, I don't have that handout prepared, but. Um, That's okay. I'm going to always do it another time. What? But, but, I can tell you. I can tell you. I just don't have a visual for our audience. So. Screw that. Hmm. Where's the magic chapter magic magic where's the magic chapter okay all right priests so remind me uh this Borwas's spells so Borwas's current spells he's got um turn undead cure wounds holy weapon good okay so besides that you can also learn light protection of from evil or shield of faith. Mm. Uh, shield of faith. I think that does that add armor class to somebody for yes. a temporary time. Yeah. That's yes, that's right. Pretty useful. We might uh, do that. All right, that's great. I'll go ahead and add it to your list, and I'll configure your sheet later. Same now, thing. your harvester. Yeah. All that's... right. So, for a wizard, so he already knows light, detect magic, and floating disc. Your other spells are... Mm, correct me if I'm wrong, but you probably want an attack spell, right? Is magic missile available? Yes. As is burning hands. Both really good, but um, how squishy is he? Oh, seven. Okay, not insanely squishy, but his AC's 32. Okay. He's... He's uh, quite armorful for a wizard. What's the, what's the range of burning hands? Uh, well, um, strictly it's, it's speaking, close, isn't it? Usually, yeah. Normally, it's close. We can uh, adjust it, though. Some people didn't like that it wasn't a cone in previous games that I played in, so we could change it to a fifteen-foot cone. Hmm. That would be good. All right, missile is so, also useful. 
and mm -hmm. at least he can keep a distance. So long as he doesn't fuck it up. That's the only, that's the only downside. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's hard to fuck up magic missile because you always roll it with advantage. I think, based on his previous experience, I'm going to have to go with magic missile. All right. I'll go ahead sense. and... All right. I'll LM. Okay. The worst wizard. Failed every single spell check. <laughs> Okie dokie. I have added magic missile to your character sheet. And uh, with that, I think y'all are all fully leveled. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. I don't think so. so. Did I miss anyone? I don't think so. Alrighty. Well, with that, friends, uh, your carousing goes off spectacularly. Uh, you are all growing as adventurers and welcomed members of the Death Death's Gate Guild. This will surely net you new opportunities to uh, find new and even more daring sites of adventure and even more radical and fabulous treasures. Uh, all, uh, all this is true, and yet the shadow of ancient perils is not, uh, is not absent. Lurking from dark places beneath the city, dwelling within the, uh, within the shadowed forests and jungles of Zendrik, and dozing in and out of sleep from times immemorial in the ruins of giant cities ancient horrors and wonders dwell and they are waiting for you thank y'all so much for playing and uh thank you for absolutely yes. Thank you, Josh. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, congratulations on uh, finishing this adventure. I want to thank the writer of this adventure. Uh, so first, I want to thank Kelsey Dion because she wrote Shadow Dark and she's fabulous. Oh. Uh, uh, I also want to thank the author of this adventure. Um, uh, this adventure was called Spores of the Undercity, and that's by Brynjar uh, Mar Palsum. Sorry, sorry, buddy, I probably butchered your name. Uh, but we met Brynjar in the chat the other day, if you mm -hmm. might remember. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, thanks to you, bud. That was a really fun adventure. Uh, thanks also to uh, Sarah Angle, who compiled uh, this adventure. That's called Shots in the Dark. Mm -hmm. Um... And, um, yeah, um, if anyone in the audience wants to uh, join us up for a game sometime, please hit us up. Would love that. And if you want to hire me as your GM, you can find information on that in the bottom. Feel free to hit me up. I'm still learning how to be a pro DM. So, uh, so I have a lot of room to grow and a lot of uh, wiggle room. So, if you're interested in playing... Hit us up. Damn right. Okay. All right. I don't think I have anything else to say. Uh, any other closing business before we close up shop, friends? No. Oh. No. Another good stream. Another good session. I yeah. had a I had a fabulous time. Thank you all. Absolutely. Me too. All right. All right. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'll see you around. <laughs> all right. Take care, Josh. Mm -hmm. Bye, yo. See you, everybody. Bye.